World Card Making Day to all of you. It's Tracy from Mindless Crafting and Bill. Happy hey, Card Bill. Making Day How worldwide. Are <laughs> How are y'all doing? Okay. I didn't find out till it was, uh, I think it was Thursday morning that it was card making day um, on Saturday, October 2nd. But we found out. But we found out and we said, look, let's go live for World Card Making Day. So today I'm going to be crafting using this six by six paper pad. It is so hard sometimes to use up all your paper. So I'm going to be going like pretty quick. I got my paper trimmer here too. Um, and so I'm going to be making cards. See how I want to see how many I can make out of this paper pad. So this is 24 double-sided papers. I think one of the hardest things when you have double-sided papers is which side to choose because it's super cute. Exactly. Right? That's the dilemma. Oh, Marlene says it's cloudy and rainy in Arkansas, but I'm glad you're here with us. So I'm so glad that y'all could join us on a Saturday. It's n there's nothing more fun than, than doing something on a Saturday. I'm, I'm, start I'm starting to really like Saturdays, okay? Tracy, Brooklyn is here. Hey, how are you? I'm glad you made it, Brooklyn. Let's see who we have for a second. Ron Marquise. Yeah, let's see who's on Kathleen here. Carly, Deb Couture, Marlene Watts, uh, uh, Sarah Johnson, Karen Reed, Desta Lou. Hello. Christina Sanchez, Marlene Watts, Deb C., Shirley Alexander, Christine Sanchez, Adelia Lopez, even Yvette Daniels. Well, hello to uh -uh. everybody. Brian. <laughs> Denise Glisson, D. Dee had somewhere to go, and she still made it. Nice. Vivian, Ron Marquis, Sheila Overstreet, possibly Joy also. Is Joy here too, Sheila? And Jordan. La Chic Baby. Or La Chic. <laughs> La Chic Baby. Bertha okay. Bless Wilson, Naomi. Bertha. Linda Veal. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of Edith people. Anderson, I'm Dren so C. glad that y'all are joining us. We weren't sure if anybody would you know, come on on Saturday. Um, but it's World Card Making Day. I mean, so we decided, Bill and I decided that we're going to give away, um, there's going to be uh, three people that are going to win this giveaway. Uh, you see this box here? There's something in it. And we're going to give away three of them. Here's what you have to do. The winners will be chosen on our live next Thursday. Next week, Thursday, at 12 noon, right? Our regular, regularly, <laughs> regularly, <laughs> regularly, our regularly scheduled live, we're going to be announcing the winners. We're actually going to be pulling the winners. We're going to use the, um, what's that YouTube winner the, picker? The picker? Yeah, that thing. So here's what you have to do. Since it's World Card Making Day, all you have to do is comment after the live goes off, right? On this video. You'll be able to comment in the comment section of this video what types of cards you like to make. What what types, meaning like thank you cards. I love to make thank you cards and I like to make cards of encouragement. Some of you may say my favorite cards to make are birthday cards. I like funny cards. Yeah. Bill likes, yeah, funny cards with googly eyes. Okay. But, um, which could be for any occasion, right? Exactly. No matter what it is. I'll find a way yes. to get those eyes in there. After the live goes off, comment below. And then next Thursday, right? Once the live ends, you comment below in the comment section under this video. Don't go to another video and comment. You have to comment under this video. It's super easy. Exactly. Then, then on next Thursday, right? Our next live, we're gonna be choosing the winners live to receive, da 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 da, this really cute embellishment box. It's the, it's the Christmas embellishment box. It's not in the store. Would you, it's not in the store. So don't even, you know, don't, it won't be in the store till next Thursday, but we figured 
hey, we're giving away three of these. I'm excited too. Good luck to everyone, right, Rebecca? Do y'all want to see what's in it? Let me let me see. They don't want to see let it. Let me see. I need to say. You want to see it? Put a one. Look, I need somebody to to if to shout it out it, that I want to I want to see it. Okay. Yeah, the they want to see it. A lot of ones. They want to see Ooh, it. Rebecca White just won to death. Y'all are be, y'all are just being nosy. Why y'all gonna want to see what's in the embellishment box? Carney girl said, "Look, show us and stop playing around." Three winners. Three. Look, <laughs> Brenda said, I want to see it. Okay, y'all. I'm going to open it up. It's These will be in the store next Thursday, but we're going to pick the winners next Thursday, too. And not in addition to this embellishment box, we have a stamp set release next week. You're going Ooh, to get... The one next week is incredible. You're going to get that new stamp set also because guess what it's not only world card making day but it's customer appreciation month and so we appreciate you look y'all like i want to see it <laughs> yes so you're going to get the new release stamp set also with this kit so yeah That's a six by eight and this is a great right this one. is a great stamp set it's going to be a six by eight but i wanted to do something where i would make embellishments some of y'all are like well, I, I want something that I could put on my card. I'm not sure what. Um, so, yeah. Three winners. Three winners. Don't forget. Comment in the comment section below this video what types of cards you like to make. Now, if we draw your name and you did not answer that question... Right. Woo! You know that has happened. Before, I know too. that has happened. That has happened, and the person won and did not answer the questions. And that they just, I don't right. know what they did. You have to comment what types of cards you like to make, Linda. That's it. We're making it super easy, but we wanted to do a giveaway today. You know, we wanted to do something where we can actually have y'all sign up for the giveaway. And then next Thursday, we'll be choosing the three winners. Do you want to see what's in here? So don't forget, you're going to get the new stamp set. Crystal B. Queen says, if you don't let me see that the thing, new... <laughs> stop talking up in here. You're going to get, right, after the live goes off, <laughs> it takes a little bit for it to process, the video to process, and then you'll be able to comment. There you go. Donna Joe or Nana says, I want to see. Nana. I Nana. <laughs> Nana. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Good. I can't say Do you goodbye. say goodbye? Hello. 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 There you go. All right. <laughs> okay, look, let's go ahead and do this. Look, D, I'm going to put this aside. going to remove the tissue. You don't remove that tissue going to remove the tissue. Now it's going to be wrapped up differently. I have this one out, but I like to put it in a plastic container as well so it's even more to protected. keep everything, you know, nice and protected. So this is what's in here, y'all. Look. So you get these bubble letters, right? It's Holly Jolly. Okay. You're going to get some tags, right? These bubble letters are going to be so cute. Let me give y'all a close up because I really need y'all to see. Right, then you're gonna get some tags. There should be 10 tags in here. So you're gonna get some tags. There's white and red because it's the holiday season. And that's why. You're gonna get, the, look at these y'all. I thought these were so funny, okay? And adorable, look at those. Aren't these the cutest? Oh my goodness, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? Marcia, don't worry about the military uh, sign up uh, for the for the cards. You're going to be a, I have the list. I am going to be contacting everyone that signed up. So don't worry about that. I got you. OK, so. OK, the snowman. Look at that. And then you got the little. Oh, look at how cute these are. You're going to have so much fun. Marley, with this. Those are the snowman. They're so cute. Aren't they cute? Look, y'all, I had to do. I had Brenda to do the buffalo. Says, Pick me. I had to do the Pick buffalo. Me. The buffalo check on this. I had to do it, y'all. 
I had to do it. Tracy Thornall says, did we miss the deadline for the military card sign up? No, you did not. It's still in the group. In the, in the mindless crafting it's group. It's in the mindless crafting group. All the information. Yes. You did not miss it. Look how this, the Buffalo check. Y'all know I had to put, the problem with this was I kept adding stuff to it. That was the problem. Okay, y'all, look at, look at this, y'all. Look. Danny Foster said, those ornaments. Look how cute. Marcia says, pick me. I never win anything. How cute is this? That's what I said about the last lottery. Oh, my goodness. The big one, of course. Can you embellish your cards with this? It's amazing what you can do with yes, those little bitty knick-knacky things. Yes. You know what I mean? That way you don't have to figure, like, what else does Just my card... Just at the moment when you say, what can I possibly yeah, put here? what else does my card need? You know, like, sometimes you want something different. Cheryl Chiati says, I like to mix media backgrounds with the cards I make. Those six-by-six six cards are more expensive to mail. They're still my favorite to make. Oh, nice, nice. Don't forget, after the live goes off, you need to comment that on this video. On this video in the comment section. Yeah, you can't comment now, but yeah. afterwards. But afterwards, available. yes. Okay. I I gotta hide something behind here because I don't want y'all to see that yet. Look how cute this embellishment is. Is that not the cute? Oh, turn it sideways because it has a slight it's, dimension. Yes, it does have dimension. And it's very light. So if you wanted to add this to a card, you could. Tracy Thorner says, like, you never keep adding to stuff. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa Cohn. Hey, Vanessa. It's her first time. She said, I finally caught you live. Where happy, have you been? Ha happy card making day. How adorable. The snow globe. Is that not the cutest? Look at all the scenes in that little space. How cute. Look at... Y'all. Well, that's a card front all by itself. Look at the, it is. Yes, it, it is. is. Look at the frames, y'all. Look. You've been framed. Okay. Are these you've been not framed. the cutest? You can oh, probably make some my of my sacred things with that too. Goodness. Huh? Christina Sanchez, I want a kit. <laughs> I want a kit. How much? Well, I'm not done Let's yet. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Let's make a deal right it now. It won't be in the store till Thursday. The rest of the kits. These are for the free, these are the giveaways. So there's three kits that are going to be given away next Thursday. But you have to sign up on the on this video. How cute. Is this and we're going to use the YouTube picker look to pick at that the winner in from the comments that they leave telling what's their favorite type of card? I can't show you what's under here yet. Sarah Johnson says she sees shaker cards with those frames. Look, y'all, look at this. You might be able to fit one now of those, these trees, I love those trees, the tree inside the frame. That's, huh? that's a Bertha blessed tree. Bertha <laughs> is a blame queen, okay? Bertha would kill those trees. How cute is this? Bling stickers, y'all. Bling stickers. Hi, Rhonda Higgins. Aren't they the sparkliest? Look at that. Cute. You could just add this to your card, right? And then just stamp Merry Christmas. That's it. You're good to go. Yes, those trees are sparkly. Let me see if I could really get y'all to see. Valerie Leonard says, what happens if just we get picked and we are sparkly. not able to make it to the draw? Oh, you, oh you'll, yeah, you'll still be okay. Yeah, you'll be, able to con you'll be able to contact us. Yeah, you're good. You're good. We'll we'll make sure we um mention the names, and then you just have to contact us. Look, y'all, you get washi tape in here. So now some, there's a different varieties of washi tape. They're all Echo Park, but you might get one that might have like a darker plaid. Uh, so we just randomly added them to the kits. But yeah, these will be in the store on next Thursday. But these are for the giveaways. Wouldn't it be nice to receive one of these? Okay, y'all. So I couldn't stop right underneath here. Here's another tag, but right underneath this is a stamp set, y'all. Now, this is not a mindless crafting stamp set, but I thought it was super cute. Patty says, I want it Bam, all. Bam, look at that. I couldn't help it. I had to put a stamp set in here. So when I saw this, I was like, this is perfect. It's from Crate Paper. It's called Hey Santa. And it's got 16 stamps on it. 
How adorable is that? Hi, Amira. Amira Deshawn says, good morning, Tracy and Bill. I love the hybrid ink and black. Is this not a whole lot of stuff? Okay. I'm Christina glad you says, like your hybrid ink. Will you be ink? doing an announcement making live? Not today. No. <laughs> but that would be nice. A fun... Um, Alive using the embellishments, huh? That would be fun. There's so much in here. Look we'll at this, y'all. you again at the end. Look at this, y'all. Look at Margie Ryan that snuck up in here. Look Margie. at this. If you can't create using this, I don't know what. So you get that stamp set, and you're going to get oh. our free stamp set also. Catherine Frederick says, I just jumped on. How much for this? This is not in the store yet. It'll be in Thursday. It's going to be $29.99. But if you tune into that live on that first day, we have a new stamp set going in also. Um, releasing. The stamp set is going to be released. It's not going to be in this box, but it's going to be released. One of our own mindless crafting stamp sets. I can't show you uh, yet Barbara until Lane. Thursday. But there'll be a 10% off on our new stamp set and then on this box so we only have a limited um number of these boxes but this is the giveaway for today <laughs> well we're, this is the, we sign up today but it's going to be given away on thursday thursday we'll announce the winners of the giveaway is this not the cutest Catherine says can we prepay <laughs> Catherine. Catherine, you better be here. Here's my here's the advice that I have. So $29.99 with 10% off. Um, and then um on this and the stamp set that we're releasing. So basically two like we normally do. Dollars and ninety cents or something. something like that. But like the bottom that. line is this. We have a limited supply of these, of these particular kits. So on next Thursday, if you're thinking you want it, the moment <laughs> it hits goes yeah. on sale, I tell you what, you better go ahead and don't be thinking too long on that one. Look, you'll have to watch the rewatch if you didn't see what's in it. you got to watch the replay, oh, Patty y'all. Patty says, how do I sign up? <laughs> okay, so here, here's what you do. Once this live goes off, once this live ends, this video will re-upload to YouTube, and then you'll be able to comment below in the comment section. All you do is comment what type of cards you like to make. So it could be something like, I like to make... Um, I like. To I, I could make. I like to make thank you cards for me. I like to make thank you cards, and I like to make cards of encouragement. But I also like. Look, I like to make cards like this. <laughs> I like to make fall cards too. So just you know, just giving y'all a heads up. The kids I just will, put the, the link to the website also, just in case. He said the, the kits will be sold out uh, in no time. Okay. And if you ordered your kit, the card making kit for our, I got to keep mentioning this, the October 23rd Mindless Crafting with Me Fall Harvest Edition. If you um, bought your kit yesterday, it is... In the mail. It's in the mail. Everything's been shipped out. We took over 100 packages uh, to the post office this morning. So they are ready to ship. Over 100. We have a lot of people getting ready to tune into this. So this one, this is the um, the card kit for Mindless Crafting with Me Fall Edition. Saturday, October 23rd, y'all, at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars, okay? We're ready. We are ready. The, you, first, Karen, Reed, Reed. the first one was so much fun. <laughs> Ronnie Higgins says, I need my kit yesterday. Oh my goodness, wait till y'all. Yes. So it's the Harvest Wishes from Simple Stories card kit. Look, I'm going to be there with my glue. Vanessa Cone says, already? This. You've mailed them already? Yes, we did. That's a great. We are not playing, okay? I got to make sure y'all have your stuff. Catherine says, do we have an October code? Not yet, or not right now. Yeah, we won't have an October have code because we're getting ready for um, Black Friday stuff. Yeah, I know it seems early, but yeah, we're, we're getting ready for our Black Friday stuff. So we do not have an October code. Can we still buy it or all sold out? These are oh, still, yes. 
Yeah, I'll put the link in the, right they're now. Still, they're still in the store. Mm-hmm. So let's let's go ahead and get started because we got to get these cards knocked out, babe. Okay, y'all. So here is the um, paper that I'm using. Let me show you what it looks like, and then we're going to start cutting down some paper, gluing some stuff, adding some stuff on here. Look how cute this is. This is called Craft and Create. Bend and snap. Is this not the cutest? Gloria Weimer says, you guys are so good on shipping. We wanted to get these out because I want to make sure that everyone has their kit way ahead of time. So someone in the UK, actually, we had a couple of people in the UK order so I want to make sure that they get their order, okay? Now, I just put the link right there. The Simple Stories card kit, Harvest Wishes, uh, is going. That link will take you right to the product. Yeah, so still get your kits. Uh, we, yeah, we got. We, we, we get these things. We out took as a fast lot of stuff. Possible. We rolled up at that post office super early we this morning. We stayed late last night. Yeah, we wanted to make sure y'all had your stuff out. So that's why we're so excited. We've had coffee. Okay, coffee. And I, I was a UK order, and the last one came to me super fast. Awesome. Rebecca White. Look, Rebecca. Was Rebecca. Rebe- it was Rebecca. Rebecca was one of the people that we you shipped know, out to. I can't to. remember who it was. Rebecca, I'm going to just look. Rebecca, I'm going to pray on your package, okay? I'm praying over your packages. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I don't know if it was Rebecca or someone, but they ordered and it was going through the traditional uh uh postal service and the amount that they selected it it to do, do dhl it was only a little bit more not much more and tracy and i said you know what we've got to make sure they get their package so we just played we added the difference to that to make sure that that package got there fast because i have this love to hear people's responses when they get the packages and they and they talk comment on how fast it got there. Well, I know I want my stuff pretty quick. I like to get my stuff yesterday. <laughs> Hi, Crystal Talbert. So Sarah Johnson, I will do that, Sarah. Send Sarah an invoice. Thank you, Sarah. That's so sweet. It is. You know what? We had a lot of orders that went out that were for other people. People bought a lot of gifts. So thank you. Thank you in advance um, for, for doing that. We appreciate you doing that and and saying, you know what? I want to send someone something to someone else. Helene so, Hills. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start making these cards. Let me show you all the paper here. Because it's World Card Making Day, so we got to get started. Make something pretty today. Look, make something pretty today. Not tomorrow. Make it today. Make it right now, okay? Like Linda Huffman, she says, I'm multitasking right now. Some of y'all are probably watching this on the TV. Some of y'all may not even be crafting along. Y'all might be just listening in. So to all of you, I'm so glad. This This is the perfect card. Um, this craft and create this is actually in the store as well this craft and create is so adorable I couldn't send look I would have to put look you see this look at the sewing machine babe so if you have friends that sew you may have friends that do different types of crafts uh, let's see look how pretty look how pretty Perfect for sending happy mail. Someone's watching us on TV. Melissa Zapata Zapata says, I'm on time for the first time. I'm only 26 minutes late. Just kidding. Just kidding. Marcia, send us an um, email to remind me. I need to go ahead and, and check on that. Marcia. Marcia. Send me an email at admin at mindlesscrafting.com and put in um, the reason. Yeah, put the reason so that we can actually uh, get back to you on that. Oh, Dana is painting her front door and watching on TV. Wait a minute. Wait, Dana, Dana. How are you painting the front? 
Data, what Data. kind of thing? Got some skills. Wait a minute. Okay. Where's the, I'm trying to think. Where's the TV positioned where she's painting her front door? She must have those YouTube glasses <laughs> where you can just, just see stuff. Oh, my goodness. Data said, look, I got <sighs> skills. Don't even mess with me, okay? Sheila oh says, goodness, Joy and I watching on TV and crafting along. I'm pulling this out, okay? They're making veterans cards. Oh, nice, nice. I got the names, y'all, for the veterans, so, so right, I'll, I'll be pairing you up. I'll be pairing you up um, this weekend. Then all they have to do is add that part, huh? Yep. Gloria Weimer says, I'm making envelopes for the card kit, cutting my, my cricket not... and gluing them together. I'm getting ready for the 23rd. Look at you. Darlene White said, maybe she took the front door down and, and took it into the house. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dana, Dana Foster says, the front door is in the living room and near the front door. Okay, gotcha. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> Daddy just kicked it. Get off! Look, and look, and she's got she's got us on the phone while she's painting. Dana don't play. Oh, D says I always watch y'all on TV. Isn't that sweet? Look at this, y'all. Look how cute these are. Oh my god. Guy Solomon says, Tracy, my heart is racing. Is it? Why? Why? <laughs> Diane, we... <sighs> so, do y'all love this paper? And I got to tell you a story because I saw, I think I saw a stray cat. I'm not even sure. Cassandra. Bill was driving too fast. I thought I saw a stray cat up by the side of the road, but when we came back, I, he said it was a paper bag, but I thought it was a stray cat. It was a little baby cat, so we we had to actually come back and look and see if it was still there, and it was gone. So, how adorable! Look at this. I don't always craft. Oh wait, yes I do. Yep, exactly. Oh, look how cute this is! Crafty and happy. Make life pretty. Let's make art. Sewing mends the soul. So let me ask y'all something. Have is this been? Uh, how long have you been card making for? I mean, that, that's uh, a good. You know what? What was it? How long have y'all been making cards? That's a good question, right? Mm. It probably started in grade school for me. You remember when you had to make your mom a card? The teacher did some kind of thing, and you made cards for your mom for Mother's Day. Did yeah. you ever do that? Yeah. Like in elementary school, you didn't do that. Oh my goodness, Bill. Yeah, I did something. Usually it's <laughs> a picture or something. Shannon you know I mean? says she's been making cards a year. Really, Shannon? I've Hold seen up. your work. Marlene Watts is asking a critical question. I have to I have to say this, Tracy. It's really my thought. Marlene says, I wonder what my husband would do if I threw the YouTube up on the TV <laughs> during his football game. Oh my goodness. You want me to answer that, Marlene? <laughs> You really want that answer. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going. I'm not even going <laughs> to. I might as well pull all of these out because I'm going to be crafting with all of them. So I'm tearing while I while I go. And this is a double-sided paper. So, okay, so that one's to the end. So let's go ahead and break this these babies down. It's time for the breakdown. Let's go ahead. You got also got strips you got cutaways in here hold up then the veal has been crafted since 1933 oh my goodness linda some of you said less than a year it oh started oh line of the stars said it started with me how wonderful yeah i do too Amira, I like this size paper rebecca said since she discovered your channel back in the spring wow I've probably been doing this for about what, like this kind oh, of card make for about what, seven years now, about babe? More than about eight. Well, officially. Because I didn't know world card making thing was a day uh, was a thing until I started like um Janet Davis crafting. Says about a month ago when she started watching. Oh wow, nice. Shannon. Look says, at y'all. She started with you. Look at y'all. Lori Bonkatan is on here. 
That's my girl. Okay, so we got that. I'll be the type that will go and cut all of this out and use this too. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Cute. Okay, so let's now that we've got these, I'm gonna take the cutaways, right? Taking the cutaways and putting those aside. And many of you, I could use this as a strip, right? This is a pattern. This will be nice as a little cutaway, huh? Let's see what's, ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. That's gonna have to go in that pile. Catherine Frederick says the cover can even be used. The cover sure can. More cutaways, ooh, ooh. Join Library uh, says, I just started card making, but you've been a huge inspiration. Oh, I, I appreciate that. I just have fun with it. Look at that. You know I love flowers. Mmm, those spools look cute, though, too. Check, check this out. Brian is almost 43. He's been crafting for 22 years. That means you've been crafting longer than you've not. Isn't that something else? Okay, these will be cutaways. Cutaways. And I got strips. That would be cute. That one we could turn on that side. Just going through the process, y'all, here. Tracy, look how Vanessa Cohn started. She inherited her mom's stamps in 2008. She's been making cards since then. Mom will be amazed with the progress. Oh, my goodness. How awesome. Wow. Isn't that something to look at? See that, Need that green. Now. Okay, I got one that's this. Yes. My mother is very crafty, y'all. Every time I go over there, I see something that she's, she's done. She likes to do recycled uh, crafts. Um, and there's no craft too difficult for mom. My mother loves to just create stuff. And she likes to use packaging and bottle tops and all kinds of stuff. It would be nice to go live over there one day and show them what mom, um, what my mother makes. Some of the things. Oh she will be so happy to show y'all. Crystal Knapp says she just got here and is that paper pad in the store? Yes, it is. It, it is called right Craft. Now and create and this is so pretty it's so bright and i always put the links up so y'all don't have to search too hard okay i'm gonna take one oh of goodness. these i'm gonna start cutting these down now so i have some um card bases so let me get my card bases so i'm ready to go we don't know how many we'll need but we're gonna see how many cards we get to make yes maca Brenda C. says she started as a quilter about 45 years ago. Awesome. Besides paper, stained glass is her favorite. Brenda, you're only about 46. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to cut these down because these are going to be the, um, they're going to be A2, A2 size cards. A lot of y'all said y'all would love to see mom's uh, recycled crafts. I'll have to um, do a live over there. Her internet, for some reason, I may have to go and see. Oh, her. Mom? Yeah, she would love to have y'all over <laughs> to see her recycled crafts. She would. She, we could Tracy's just walk around and show her. Entire house is it, something that she's made. Her, some stuff her entire from. house is a craft. Okay, she'll make something out of anything. Okay, so I'm going to save my little strips here, y'all, because I may need them. Okay, so these, let me let y'all know where I'm cutting these down at. I'm cutting these four, right? Four by five and a quarter, okay? Four inches by five and a quarter, because that's going to be like my little outline here. So I'm going to do a bunch of those like that. So I just want to take y'all through the process here. Um, this one is not going to be that. Let's see. This one is going to be, let me show y'all what I'm going to do with this. So I'm going five inches by three. Oh my goodness. Five inches by three and three quarters. So I'm just showing y'all how I'm lining these up. You see how that's going to go? Breaking down the papers right now. 
right? So we almost already done, but I just want y'all to see. Cute. So I have different piles of like some scraps and then stuff you can go back and even cut these down even more and make like strips for your cards. And this is just a nice way to just kind of say, hey, I'm going to just make some cards today. But I don't want to really have to think about all of this stuff, you know. Just want to have fun with it. Tracy, guess how long Cassandra Williams has been crafting? How long? 64 years. Oh, my goodness. Wonderful. Imagine how much beauty you've created over a lifetime of just beauty, creating beauty. We were speaking to someone who was talking to the other day, Tracy, who was so just so phenomenal. Anyway, she was saying how some of the things that she did in her life, um, like delivering food to the elderly and Oh like my that. goodness. How I had inspiring. tears in my eyes when she was talking. It just the, the and what made me think about that was uh when Cassandra Williams was saying she's crafting for sixty four years. And can you imagine the amount of beautiful stuff you put in the world? She has touched. Mm -hmm. And she don't even know that she touched them. There may be people who felt, who really thought about ending it all, and they got a card from her. She just, she just said, I love you. They're thinking about you. I see you. Mm -hmm. Just anything like that. They got that card and they gave the strength to make it through that day, and then they made it somehow to the next, then the next week, and now. Maybe they're inspiring people, but it started with that card. Yes, it did. Okay, so I'm putting these here, right? My solids to make little outlines for my cards, because I like my cards to have little outlines on them. And then this one, I have one of these already. So I'm going to take this, and this is going to be one of the cutaways too. So that'll give me more cards. Okay. Hi, Carmina. Carmina, this is one that I miss. Fun. Carmina, we'll tell you near the end, uh, once again, about the giveaway. Not right now, though. Okay, so let's go in with this one. Some of these I'm going to cut up and just um, use them to decorate the cards, right? It's beginning to look a lot like crafting. I was wondering what you were going to say. With my messy desk. <laughs> Man, Connie Teeter's been crafting for 66 years. Love it. She started with her grandma. Love it. Yeah, I just something about crafting and paper crafting in particular that just, oh my goodness, it just makes me feel good. And, and, um, yeah, it just makes me feel good. I, I can't describe it any other way than that. <laughs> Margie said earlier, just a few minutes, seconds ago, I, I can't talk right now. And everybody was getting worried. They're like, what's wrong? Oh, my God. And Margie says, oh, I'm whooping cream <laughs> for a birthday. Okay. Margie. Margie, Margie dude, that's cre <laughs> look, that's creating. Exactly. If that's the best creative. And it sounds yummy, it. okay. Sounds yummy. There's no better crafting when you get to eat the creation. Okay, so that's going to go in my pile. So this is what I have. Look how pretty these look. Imagine, this is going to get into the hands of several people. I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you, okay? That just makes me happy. Someone's going to get one of these, or two of them, or three. I'm going to use this. Right, because we're not thinking about it too much. We're breaking down this six by six paper because we got to make some cards. I feel disconnected from my friends. I got to send cards to them. And that's what I like about being able to go live right now because, um, you know, so many of us are at home and we're like, Thank you, Brenda you're just kind of sitting there in your own thoughts. Just thinking about stuff, and, and we're so thankful for, for being able to come together and being able to craft together. And so that's why I look forward to uh, the 23rd um, for our Mindless Crafting with me, because we're going to come together, we're going to bring our energy and just connect, you know, and have a few laughs. Brenda Roshan says, you two are hilarious, so entertaining. <laughs> we... I'm glad we are because we're actually, 
we're actually just being ourselves. Actually, I, that's true. It's not like it's rehearsed. If like you weren't on this like video, gonna, we would act the same way. The same way. exact way. And that's serious. Walk into the post office is the same Bill and Tracy. Um, it, it's just so, it, you know, it's wonderful when you can make people laugh, you know? It really is. We don't mean I tell to, what, to be entertaining. You're talking just... about some, <laughs> someone with somebody feeling guilt. You're talking about a slight feeling of guilt. The other day we went to the post office and the line was all the way to the very back. It was so packed. And we walked in with this huge thing of, of packages. And time we hit the door, the person at the front goes, Hey, what's up, Billy? Come on up here. <laughs> and I look, and people look at me like, "What? Come on up here!" Like, why does he get to? And I try to like, kind of try to tuck my head. Who on earth is he? Tuck my eyes <laughs> on the inside of my skull, so I so uh. I couldn't see me. They so I couldn't see them. See me. See them. See, see, see them. You know how it works. I get you. Babe. I went right to the front, kind of covered my face. Hey, I put myself up there and I walk right off. Right. I don't want to be special. As I walk out, people are looking at me like, oh, who does he think he is? who is he? <laughs> oh, they didn't say that. Babe, did uh, that's they? what they were thinking, though. <sighs> yeah, we don't mean to be entertaining. We just, you know, just like to be polite to people. You know, and just have fun. I talk to people so much. Even the, the, the people who, uh, you know, sometimes you're in a public so, uh, supermarket. And the, the people will come out and say, can we take your groceries to the... This one girl, what's her name, Tracy? She used to follow us everywhere. Oh, my goodness. She was so She, she would come and hey, hug she, she would come and hug She us. would walk down... The, she was. She worked oh. at Publix, and she would walk down the aisles with us and stuff. I was like... What was that? Tony. Was that was saying, Tony. Tony, yes. Tony was so nice. Tony is so sweet. She, she was. She's at the Publix at... Um, off of Dallas, Dallas Highway. Highway Publix, which is one of my favorite Publix. In Marietta. But we don't yeah. live over there anymore, so. She, I actually really liked her. Yeah, she was a sweetheart. Hopefully she's still there. She was so fun. And she, she would just, you got to smile, <laughs> you know. You have to smile when you see her coming. <laughs> Sandy Girl says, it's hilarious. Don't look at those people that have been waiting in the eyes. Right, and we're like, I, I would stand in line. I don't want any, like, Special treatment, but hey. Oh my goodness, Tracy. <laughs> Metal Scrapping Chick. Hi there. Metal Scrapping Chick says, This is my first time to see, but I have enjoyed watching your videos since finding you a few years ago through May May. I've been oh, crafting nice. for about 35 years and I'm making wow. some jewelry right now. Wow. That's probably how she got the name Metal Scrapping jewelry. Chick. She's making jewelry. But thanks for coming, Metal. Like, don't call me right. <laughs> metal. You say my full name, Metal. Say my name, say my name. Okay. <laughs> oh, y'all are too funny, okay? Yes. I'm trying to envision this. Oh, Catherine Frederick said, Mamie, I love her. Yes, I love her too. We, um,. That's when I first started. I was on May May's design team, in case y'all don't know, just a little history. Um, I was designing for May May uh, a couple of years back. But I was, the thing was, she put me on my, on her design team, but I wasn't really a paper crafter per se. But I started like, hey, what is this? This is, this is different. And, um, and then, um, I was, she knew me for making gift baskets. So it wasn't that a blessing? <laughs> wasn't that a blessing? And little did we know that, um, and, and she's such a joy because we remember meeting her back, um, finally getting to meet her when we went to Made It Con. And, her mom was and I was, and I was teaching there. Yeah. So yeah, y'all continue to keep May May and her family in your prayers. Um, her, beautiful and and wonderful mom uh passed away recently for those of you that didn't hear, didn't hear about that um but just please continue to uplift her and her family uh, her mother was a gem i've got the, i had the opportunity to meet her mom and ride in the elevator with her mom 
at Medicon. And I tell you, when she, when that woman would walk into a room, she would light up the entire room. You knew it was going to be a fun time. So I, I was so glad that I even had the opportunity um, to meet May May's mom. That's it. Crystal B. Queen Four. says, that's favor. Givers get to go to the front. I shared that with Tracy because I went ahead of uh, 12 cars at the dealership last week. Favor is fair. Who's that? Crystal? Crystal B. Queen? Yeah, yes, Crystal. She shared that with me. Yes. <laughs> uh, someone here's another. Uh, where is it? There? Barbara Cook says, here. That's "Bill cute. and Tracy, you two are the CEOs of Mindless Crafting." Oh, you know what? A little bit of history. What's really okay? Mindless Crafting. We didn't just arbitrarily just pick that name out of thin air. We really thought about it, and we said, "Man, what is it that crafters? What keeps people from really crafting or?" Taking the next step in life, no matter in what life, it is that yes. they want to do, not necessarily crafting, but everything, and that's how we came up with minus crafting. The whole concept is all about releasing yourself to be free from any external constraints, even self-imposed constraints. You know, criticisms, judgment. Yes, it's just create release. Move out your of your gift. move out of your own way. Don't listen to the crafting police or the any police. And be you. Be all that you were born and destined to be. Modest crafting encapsulates all of that. Yeah, you better tell it, man. That's why Trace always says, your craft room, your rules. Yes. That's why anytime but, it's fun. But also yeah. your life. Your life, too. So th this, you can actually... I think for me, crafting is not only like the... the, the um, the process of creating something beautiful, it's also, you can learn life lessons. Okay, so you use too much glue. There's always, you don't, don't, don't sweat it, just keep going, right? Don't throw it away, keep going. And just like in life, things are going to happen. There's going to be bumps in the road. You get up and you keep going. Exactly. Right? You get up and you keep going. You do not allow... Um, don't allow anything to stop you from living your best life. Exactly. Bertha mm -hmm. says, and try not to be a perfectionist. That's Do exactly not. It. Right. Because I'll tell you, look, y'all see y'all see me cutting paper and stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all about acceptance and all honesty. The best example I can possibly give, I, I mean, I hear people all the time say, oh, but does this color match? Is this paper right? Is this straight? Hey. Is it? And I tell people, I said, well, you, if you look out the window right now, it's just, you have no choice but to accept what it is you see. You may see right now a hundred trees outside your front window or, or back window, mm -hmm. wherever you're sitting right now, standing. You don't criticize each tree and say, look at that tree. Those leaves, I like the other. I mean, right. we just each accept one is, it. Each one is unique, right? It's individually unique, never to repeat it again. And just, that's how we are. And just like you, just like exactly. us, yes. Catherine Frederick says, Tracy, do you ever sink the blade so it's easier on the blade and paper? There's always a workaround with crafting, you know. Do I ever sink the blade so it's easier? Mm, I'm not sure. What, what does that means. mean exactly? Actually, exactly, Zach Z. Exactly, Linda Becker. Linda Becker says, crafting teaches patience. I have patience, but sometimes I just need a reminder. Christine Emmerich, hi. Hey, Chris, Christine Emmerich. Christine says, I had to give up perfection and just have a fun time. Just have a good world. time. Christine, now, Christine's Christine, a fun person, Christine was in our, um, was she in our class? At Maybe Christine Mark? was. She was so, I think Christine, Christine had, was Christine hilarious. had some other classes. She had one of our classes. I think she canceled her other class. I don't think she canceled the other class, but she, no, that was someone else. Uh, somebody, <laughs> somebody said, look, I, well, now that I've been in y'all class, I don't even want to we had, class. We had a good old time. Um, in, in, Christine and, was fun, man. And she was. And, and what, you know, a lot of people were like, man, y'all are even better in person than on camera. I didn't, you know, she was like, y'all are the same as you are when you're on camera. You know, we try to just be, be this is who we are. I mean, you know, and, and that's what I want to tell y'all. Be who you are and be proud of who you are, right? 
Ron Marquis says, crafting then teach me patience. <laughs> <laughs> then you and she's laughing. <sighs> then I'll say Ron, you're funny. I'll say yet. <laughs> oh, Vanessa Cohn says, I don't do perfect. I'm still on the construction. Yes. <laughs> still on the construction. Oh, Look at y'all. Connie Teeter says, sink the blade means put the blade in the middle of the paper to start cutting. Oh, I just you know, I don't end. really do that. I just start on the end. It just seems natural to me. Yeah, I don't start yeah. in the middle. I got one smooth motion. Just <laughs> <laughs> You see those sound effects? That didn't sound too because smooth. Because if you think about it, if I start in the middle, I'm going to have to have two. Up, down, or down, and up. For the crafting police to say, you should have went down first. You know what I mean? <laughs> Brenda Roshan says, hey, I love this philosophical room. Thank you. Oh. Brenda, there's no telling what direction we may go once we start talking. And it's not just us talking to you. It's all of us talking to one another. Yes, and I think that's the, the thing I love about this is the connection between all of I us. I love that rich interaction that takes place when we're on the live. Yes. It is not a one-way street. It works yes. in all directions. All directions. Us to you, you to us, you of one another. Just, it's, it's incredible. It is. It's it's like you don't feel like you're alone in the world. You feel like you have all of these wonderful people around you uh, crafting right there by your side. Cassandra Williams says, does sinking the blade help as the blade is old? I don't know because we, we have so many blades. Tracy gets packs and packs of blades. <laughs> I have to have blades around, okay? We, the but blade, my blades are, are pretty good old. though. They still They still stay pretty sharp. They last a pretty long time. Mar but I do have more than one paper trimmer, too. So the Mardell Lamb is answering this. Mardell Lamb says, if your paper is thin or your blade is getting dull, sink it in the middle and your paper won't tear as easily. Oh, OK. Catherine French says, y'all be rich. I want to be rich. That song right here. <laughs> what about the one? I want to be a billionaire. And there I go. My Bruno Mars. Something like that. That's the only line that caught me. I said, that's a good song right here. You think Mark, Mark, I couldn't send this to him. I the love that right the, there. The, I lose both of those. The quilting Marine, I couldn't send that to Crafty him. Crafty Queen and make something pretty. Uh, Karen Hankins just says, what is the name of the paper trimmer? This is the Fiskars um, paper trimmer. Uh, this is the nine inch trimmer. I have a 12, I think I have the 12-inch trimmer. That's downstairs. Melanie was using that one. So that one's downstairs. Um, and then I have a... You got several of them. I this one is. I, yeah, I have several trimmers, okay? You got at least about four or five of them. This one, I don't use this much. This actually was bought for me as a gift. I don't use it as much, but um, this one... Oh, this is the We Are Memory Keepers trimmer. We are memory. <laughs> Lori Borkerton says, also take the blade out and turn it around. Yes, people, that's another good, good um, suggestion. I've done that before, too. Look at y'all dropping gems, all my crafty friends. Y'all are saying some stuff, okay? Now, y'all, I want y'all to know I missed a bunch of comments, and I do apologize. It's not like I'm just ignoring you. It's just that I'm doing other stuff behind You're not the doing not one thing, okay? Like, uh, He's not doing like talking right now. <laughs> online shopping. No, no, I'm not doing that. Mm. But I am doing stuff. Tracy, you better not me. be online shopping. Look at this. Chrissy Emmerich says, I remember when Tracy didn't own a trimmer and only cut all paper with scissors. Exactly. Exactly. Well, you could be like Denise Blitz. Do what you work with you have okay hold up i always use this example but denise glisten denise are you on here hold up denise glisten sent me a card one time and i promise you the 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 images that, that she had like uh borders everything on it no matter what she had she tore it with her hand instead of scissors it was the greatest card it really was it's it was so, so adorable phenomenal. And I thought to myself, look, there were no restrictions. He didn't care. I don't have any scissors. I'll tear with my fingers. <laughs> <sighs> I love that card. You see how this is going to come together, y'all? Well, he says, I'm here. 
Denise, Denise I'll never forget it. that card. Denise remembers. She, she sent that card about two or three years ago, and yep. I've never forgotten that thing. It's just... Denise, you need to make some more of those and send them to people. That card right there. <laughs> Don't we give Denise work? Denise, look. <laughs> Cindy Piper says, I like tearing paper, too. It makes a neat boy. It does. Cindy, to me, it has a look like the card has been around for centuries. I, okay, I used to try to get a, a lighter and burn it, but Tracy just says, no. No, no there's too much paper in here to get a lighter, okay? She made me get the stress <laughs> ink and do it with there's, it. Look, there's too much paper in my craft room for you to try to take a lighter. I like my paper to look like it's part of the secret scrolls from hieroglyphics mm. or something. Well, I like my paper to not look burnt up. <laughs> with, the, with, the, <laughs> with the rest of my <laughs> with the rest of my crap. The fire of the Comic-Con. What will, happened to the house? Bill will come in here with a blowtorch uh, or something, okay? Paper, <laughs> we were uh, crafting. Hmm. Paul, Sonia Creel says, hey, y'all, I'm on my second trimmer. Oh. Sonia Creel been slicing up a storm. Okay, y'all, see what oh. I'm doing? I And I like cutting my paper. Y'all know the type of crafter I am. I've had people who said, I can't believe you don't have a cricket by now. I, I'm just, I like cutting. I like the process of cutting. Even when I was a little <laughs> kid, I loved cutting up stuff. See, DMC is like me. DMC says, I used to do the lighter trick. Brian Marquis mm. says, Tracy likes her paper. <laughs> Not be on fire, okay? <laughs> oh, just a, a crafty little tidbit there, right? That is hilarious. Hi, Carrie Woods. Carrie Woods. I saw Carrie Woods on the uh, Culture Marine Live. Her she and Margie did. Yeah, and she was on there. Y'all are so sweet. The Court Marine, them, they did a live yesterday. Yeah, they're, it so they're starting. Too, it, it was hilarious. It really they, was. they always, they're such a, a hoot. Um, the Mr. Cone talking about I'm laughing so hard, I have tears. <laughs> Welcome to the club. So much. Look, I'm, apolog I'm apologizing. Look, I'm apologizing. You believe me? I apologize. It? I'm apologizing. Oh, well, you know, I apologize. For any ribs that may be hurt during this live, okay? Y'all at the age now, like me. <laughs> you caught Y'all at the age. you like, what happened? What happened to Sydney Piper? <laughs> uh, she was yawning. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't been the same since. She walking sideways. Hadn't been the same. Y'all are too funny. Ribs messed up. Mm. That Tracy and Bill. That Cindy Parker me... says, when I first started making cards, I didn't know how to get the burnt around the edges of ink, so I burned it with a candle. Cindy, that's what I thought. I said, mm. I've got not... to get this As up. much as I love candles, there will not be a, a candle in this uh, craft room. Mm -mm. No, sir. Huh? <laughs> I love me some candles, but there will not be one in this craft room. Okay, so let's go ahead Linda, and Linda Becker is a trooper, together. Tracy. Linda Becker says, I love the fussy cut, but my hands do not. Sadly, I have RA, but no. I'm not giving up on my crafts. There you go. I will use tools if I need to, okay? Good for you. Tracy loves crafts so much. I if think something just, happened to her hands, she would use her teeth. You just learned to... <laughs> What you do with your teeth? Use my toes, okay? You have like it says. Tracy sent me a card with some teeth marks yeah, around teeth the marks? edges. Like what? what on earth? In that household, <laughs> Bill feed the woman. Okay, uh, y'all need to stop. Bill, stop. Okay, you you you're hurting. You about to pull my ribs out. All right. See that one? I think this one would be better. Yes. Just kind of matching up my stuff now here, y'all. Oh, that's two of the same sizes. Okay. That one and that. Do y'all just talk to yourself while crafting? Catherine Frederick says, the quilter marine taught me new skills. Nice. Even after a lifetime of sewing, I'm so impressed. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Pierre Wood says, yes, I was on there and I was admiring some of his material for Savannah's uh, unicorn quilt that we'll be making together. Oh. I saw the comment on there. Brenda says she apologizes <laughs> for not speaking. <sighs> I apologize. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. Apologize. Hi. 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 
Y'all got my husband over here singing. I'm apologizing. He's apologizing, y'all. You better apologize. How this is cute. I'm my great grandma just okay. appreciate. I appreciate y'all. She didn't put the A on it. Ooh, I grandma, appreciate it. Grandmama that. don't have to put no. You better not say nothing about it, though. I tell you that. Look, this is my happy place, y'all. This is my happy place. He said something about my grandma. This is like a card fashion show. Matching up. I'm having fun just matching up the colors here. That's going to be pretty. No, nope. you're going to get this one right here. Look at that. Oh, Crystal. I cute. remember that. I forgot about that, but it needs a baker. I apologize. I don't know how it goes. I apologize. I forgot how they That's go. That's all I know. <laughs> Nina Baker Boy used to do some stuff, didn't she? Yes, she did. Y'all don't get the crafting police. I have a little bit of an edge on here. Shh. Don't y'all get the crafting police after me. Anita Cole Smith says she just moved into her new house in Michigan. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. She's tired. Needs to get settled in, but happy crafting. Happy crafting. So what are you guys? Are you guys crafting now also? On a lot of them said that they're crafting. Day? Yeah, they said they're crafting today. Cassandra Wood says she uses a cricket for the bulletin board at school. Oh my goodness, I bet you that's super adorable. I use it to hammer in the I nails. Bet. I bet that's super adorable. Okay, let's go ahead and start putting some of these together. We're not going to keep pondering over it. We're not going to keep pondering over it. Trying to figure everything out. I'm going to start putting some stuff together. So I'm going to move these off to the side here. And we're going to start making our cards. Renelle Bristol says she's making cards right now. Nice. Renell, how you doing? Uh, Kathleen Crawley is crafting with six by six pad. Nice. Margie's talking about she resting. Get up, Margie. <laughs> Let Margie rest. Okay. Go Let ahead, that Margie. woman Let rest. rest. Okay. Cassandra Williams says, no more bullets and boards for me. Cassandra must have been a teacher. I loved making um, bulletin boards in the library. So we would do different themes for different um, parts of the month and I would cut out letters and and make different kind of like if there there might have been like a cooking section, so we'd put the, put the cookbooks out and make a whole display out of it. Just fun stuff. I love doing uh, bulletin boards. But I was the kid in elementary school. Y'all heard me mention my teacher, Miss Merrill, my favorite teacher. You were a teacher's pet, huh? And I would um. You know, I would help her with the bulletin board. I would stay after. And all the kids look at you like, mm. Miss <laughs> Merrill was a cool teacher, so let me make sure. Look, let me make sure I didn't glue this on upside down, okay? Who's with me on that one? We in hell says, I love our good glitter glue. Look, okay. You better get yours before the weather get cold, though. You're not kidding. If you don't get it, you got to either get it or forever hold your peace. A lot of y'all went and ordered some bottles this uh, this week. Some of y'all ordered like four bottles of Art Glitter Glue. Kitty May says, I'm not crafting yet. She's about to get into this football game that's getting ready to go down. Uh-oh. So, Kitty, who's playing? Hi, me's on here. Hi, hi. Hey. I may cry. <laughs> of course, I know I messed your name up, but you got the idea. Linda Chapatel is working on old card kits that she's been hoarding. Nice. Yeah, get those old paper pads out that you think that are so beautiful sitting on your shelf, okay? Take those things and get get to going. Y'all know these this card's gonna this is gonna need some stitching. Let hold on. You, I, I gotta take a stitching break, y'all. Let me let me just go ahead and do this for right now. I, I just feel it. I was going to wait until the end part and do this, but I got to put some stitching on here right now. Okay, so normally I would do this before because it needs it. That way it can dry a little bit. And it's perfect for like the stitching on the card, right? The sewing machine, stitching. Stitching is my happy place. How many of you guys in the group went to the, on the Minus Crafting group saw Brenda's animals? I was like, look at this right here. 
Sanchez. Christina Tracy Sanchez Matthews. says, oh. "What tool is Tracy using to take the backer off of the humper?" They it's a, like a finger. It's like a pokey tool. <laughs> no, what oh. is this, Bill? I call oh, it. Oh, what the, is this the called? Sticky thing. Um, y'all, I it's it. I can't remember. I've had this for a while. It's a sticky it's thing. Name. It's called. Don't mess up the the manicure. Okay, that's what it's called. <laughs> The thing that helps there you There is not... someone in here that knows what that's called, okay? Somebody's on here. There's a part crap. Do y'all sell it? We used to. This one? No, not this one. We, we only have the... something, um... but it's not like that. No, that's the um, embossing, tools. embossing tools that we sell. Look at you, babe, naming stuff. Look, I've only, it took me three years. Okay, he over here naming, name naming stuff, y'all. Name that tool. Okay, let's go ahead and pick out another one here, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Christian Emmer says, I'm in the bling room today, but I need to get into the craft room. I have 100 thank you cards to make with about 15 steps each, and I've only done step one and two so far. Oh, my goodness. You got some steps, girl. Yeah, you got some stuff. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm going to skip steps five through 11. 11. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's just jump right to the end. No, babe, and and we won't Once be doing that. We won't be doing that on the on the twenty third. Live happily ever ever after the end. Okay. We won't be doing that on the twenty third either. Okay. Skipping the directions like Bill did last time. That was hilarious, hey, though. That was funny. The best directions you could possibly have are your eyes. You look at the picture. <laughs> and say hey. Hey. It looks like this. <laughs> Ah. Then you turn back to your crafting project. Michelle Trito is here, babe. Hey, Hi, Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> she said she, Brenda Bob she just got on. Brenda says she just purged over 300 old pads of paper. I'm not giving up anymore, and I'm not using the retirement, retired ones I kept, unless it's something very special. You're going to become a paper hoarder. Mm. You know that person that says, I'm saving this paper until <laughs> and nothing ever fills the line after until and the paper sits up there for years how many y'all are hoarding cards right now when well, you know you need to to go ahead and and bless someone with that card a special moment that, that never seems to come it's every day is a special moment every day y'all go ahead and 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 do it Glitter and duct tape says, I'll be making holiday cards tonight. I'm trying to get a head start this year. Tress, you doing you moving ahead on that? Yes, I am, darling. So you like to cut your stuff out up front, huh? Well, because I want to use all of the paper, but normally I don't do like all of this. I'll take the paper, make one or two cards, and then leave it. But I'm like, no, I got to make sure that I do this and make a ton of cards. <laughs> Cassandra says, Bill, stop talking about me and my paper collection. <laughs> exactly, Marcia. Marcia Burton says, more. Well, most men look at the pictures and not the directions. Why is that, Bill? Well, that's how you get... Because... Look, it was supposed to be a nightstand, but it ended up being a chair because... <laughs> <laughs> Because he didn't look at the direction. Okay. I'm like, where's my nightstand? Look like that's what it's You're supposed like... to be to me. <laughs> <sighs> And, 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 and why are all these screws still on the floor? I know I've been there how many times. I have so many screws in a drawer. Where on earth are these screws supposed to go? It look like it's holding together. You, so. you wonder why the chair. Hold up. You know what? We have a dresser. <laughs> we, we have a dresser in the room right now. It, it's brown. The, you know how the part you get from uh, IKEA? It looks so cute, except for at the very bottom. I accidentally turned the, the, the part the wrong way, and it has like a chipboard look. Yeah, he left it just like that, I said, I am not unscrewing all of this. <laughs> had just he, for this chipboard. Can't nobody see that far. Had okay? he followed the directions, y'all. They can't see that far. Rosia says, hi, Tracy and Bill. Good to see you. Hey. Again. Thanks for sending my order quick. I ordered the glitter glue. It will be the first time I use it. Bless oh, you my you goodness. Your family. Rosia, I'm gonna tell you something. You are going to love that it. art glitter glue. I used to be hardcore. I didn't think I. I Tracy used to talk about. He used art to be hardcore glue. Elmers, okay. Well, she used to talk, say how good he was, and I said, "Ah, oh, that's just a bunch of whatever." She's just showing favoritism, and we were helping my sister-in-law and my niece. They were doing a mass card making thing for something. Oh yes. 
And we had all types of different glues. Art glitter glue, Elma. It must have about six or seven. And we ran out of a lot. But I had a chance to use everything. And I'm here to tell you I saw the difference like night and day with art glitter glue compared to anything else. Mm. Some of the other glue would dry too fast. I, it would, or it would warp the paper. Paper would start bending up. It or it would take too long to dry. The art glitter glue, you, when you put it on, it's like the it would it would allow you to spread to to slide that image ever so slightly where you wanted to go. And it just as you stopped, it would allow you to what? To slide the image. You know how you put glue oh yeah on the yeah back or for for a moment yes. And you, you say you can, you, you can adjust you, it. Yeah, you say is this not quite right? And you can kind of adjust it. But then very quickly after that, it would dry. And there would be no warping of the paper, no bending, and I was sold forever. Now, Bertha Bus Wilson did turn me on to the uh, reptile glue, and that's pretty good, too. I, re I like that one also. Look at that. I left, look, I left the hole right there, y'all. Look, moving forward. <laughs> moving forward. Karen Reed says, I say the same thing. I'm not sure if I'm addicted to crafting or addicted to just collecting the items needed to craft. Hey, they kind of go hand in hand. <laughs> Be like, what? Did, I know I bought me a such and such, and the next thing you know, um, I think I got three of these in my craft room, but I can't find it. So you'll go and buy another one. J just who? Who does that? Who? Who does that, y'all? <laughs> I know someone in here does it. Hold up. Uh, where is it at? Uh, someone said. Okay, Carrie Woods says, I had my son put art glitter glue and Elbus glue in, in all different containers with numbers on the bottom to see which one is better. Oh, what a nice one. I could not trick. tell the difference. Really? I could tell the difference. I could tell the difference with the slight warp and, and how the lack of well, ease. The also, you, you, have to, um, you have to use a certain amount because if you use too much art glitter glue, that, that won't be good either. That will That will warp it too. So there's a certain amount. Once you get, you know, that to that sweet spot where there's that certain amount that you um that you need, you're, you're good to go. That would be cute. Let's see. Okay. So Brenda, some of her papers, she's had them so long, they're collectors. Right? Mm. She said some of them actually sell it for over $100. Well, there you go. You need to keep those. Uh-oh. One of the blingers says, Lynn Hale, her, Hale says, put some bling over that hole. Exactly. Oh, where was it anyway? Oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> Cassandra uh, Williams says, I'm going to try the Barely glue. I heard Barely was good. I heard that, too. I need... um. I think I had, I'm trying to think, I had reached out to a couple of companies to see if there was a glue that wouldn't, um, that was okay with cold weather, you know, because this, after 40 degrees and below, you don't want to be ordering this because if it freezes during shipping, shipping, it's ruined. Um, so, yeah. This is good. Catherine Frederick says, share and bless others. Don't save the China for guests. Mm. You know what? Catherine, my grandmother... She had this huge, I don't know what it's called. You know where you keep the uh, China stuff? The China the cabinet? Yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking let's, shipper roll, all kind of stuff. Let's see. The, the China, China cabinet. cabinet. That's what it's called. <laughs> but it was, she had one of those. The break front? And there were some plates in there. I, I mean, as far as I can remember, I've never seen them come out of there, okay? Or, or the sofas that had the plastic on it. And as long as I can remember, I'm talking a whole lifetime now. I might have only sat in the living room three or four times because if you eat, I wish you would get caught you know sitting what? down. I need to plug in my phone. Ooh. That's one time you would know. You never sit <laughs> like, down. Like, do not room sit again. in that living room, even though it is a couch. And right? it was the biggest room in the house, but you couldn't even. I don't. When I was really little, we couldn't even walk through the room. They did not play that. Okay. But I agree with that. Don't save that stuff for a rainy day. 
Set bless it out somebody with and it. Treat yourself like the king and queen that you are. You deserve bless someone to be with served it. on this feast. Today is the feast, not some special event or some future we can't predict. Mm. I predict today I'm feasting. Today. Today. That's what I'm talking about right there. Marcy says, I have very little paper, none to purge. That's because you you crap, you give it to me. <laughs> she sure does. Marcy is the most giving person I've ever seen in my life. She's the queen queen of um of happy mail. Of happy mail. To those Marjorie. that are new here, Margie Ryan, she does happy mail so much that when people receive it, we now have a designation for it. We we say that I've been Margie Five. You've been Margie Five. <laughs> It's time I, I, I don't have any. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> she's been blessing. I ain't even got none. She's been blessing people with it. Exactly. Okay. Moving along, y'all. Rebecca White says, it got away from me. Hold up. Where's that? It disappeared. I, it, this, this is fast. The Christian Emmerich likes barely art glue as much as art glitter. Oh, okay. Karen Reed likes it, the barely. Huh. huh. Let's see if I want this on here. I like that. I like that. Like, they have one of the sewing machines on a it. China Hutch. China Hutch. Y'all better get it right. It's a China Hutch. Sheila Overstreet says. That's me. I know it's in my craft room somewhere, but I can't find it, so I go to the store and get another one, and then, lo and behold, <laughs> I get home uh, only to find the others. It never fails. Then what you do, Sheila, you go, Joy, did you move my paper? Bill, when you said Joy, I, it made me think joy of Joy. Yep. <laughs> and pain. She got sunshine. And rain. <laughs> Ah, Y'all are so hilarious, okay? Exactly, Cassandra. Cassandra says, because tomorrow is not promised. It sure isn't. So if I know that there's something um, that will make someone happy someone or just bless coming. someone's life, I'll just send it on. Catherine Fresh says, do we have Happy Mail or swaps? Well, we don't do swaps. No, we don't. I, I've... I've um, we do happy mail. Yes, we have. We just post in the group in and, our Facebook group. And what happy mail? Let's give you our def. You may have a different de definition of what it is, but I'm gonna tell you what it is for us. Happy mail means I decide to just bless someone with something from my own heart now, without any expectation of, re of return. If they happen to do something back. Thank you so much. But I don't expect to get anything back. Right. I just want to bless someone. I want you to have this to mm -hmm. further the joy in your life. I just want you to, I just want to send something. And it's almost like you're sharing a piece of your uh, craft right. room with someone else. And it just, it's a nice connection. And I've seen y'all just do so many random acts of kindness, sending happy mail to one another. We know people in the group are going through stuff. And y'all have just been so so awesome and just blessing so many of our crafty friends in that group so yeah and and it's almost like we know each other even though we may not have met each other, we know we know each other and we we know like you know each other's kids or like it's just like it's so it's so wonderful i, I don't know how to explain it it's it's just a nice connection Catherine frederick is asking a good question tracy she says really i would love to send some tell me how Um, so what you'll do is um and that is the best way. Huh? The item is here. Oh my goodness. Bill how, got, how does Happy Mail? Bill got a delivery, okay? He just jumped up and was looking like You have to explain it, okay? You got your mask, babe? I'm gonna get you to Okay, yeah, put your mask on. He, Happy he's going to the delivery. He's going outside to get the delivery. Um yeah, so with Happy Mail, all you have to do is come in the group and say, I would like to send Happy Mail to someone, or I would love to receive Happy Mail. That's it. And you'll and, and people private message you. We never post um, 
addresses on the wall uh, just because, you know, you want to be safe, you know, not not that our group is unsafe, but just that extra added security. Do not post your address on the wall, the group wall. We have 6,000, over 6,000 people in our group. And so, yeah, we just send it. And I don't want people to send in, in order to feel like I, I want to get something back. I want you to send it out of the goodness of your own heart, period. I've seen happy mail go awry when I've been in other groups. I mean, when I say awry, I mean, like, it just did not turn out well. <laughs> People were upset because they didn't get anything back. And so, um, yes, yeah, so I don't I don't keep up with who's sending who happy mail. You know, I just feel like if it's something that you want to do, um, you can do it. You know, so you just go in there and and um, it's fun. I, I see comments sometimes in the group and I'll reach out and say and, and just um, I read y'all comments. I'll send someone something. Um, just because. So I don't know if that expl explains it. Right. I don't. We so we in our group there are no swaps, and it says that in the um, in the uh, group rules that there are no swaps in our group because those can turn really bad really quickly to an absolute yeah. nightmare. Okay. So yeah. So that's it basically. Does that make sense, y'all? Yeah, but if you come in the group, we will definitely get you, um, you know, Catherine get French, you orientated, okay? Catherine says you have addresses, everyone. That way, no, 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 no. We don't, we no. don't, we don't do that. Catherine, you're in the Minus Crafting group, right? Just reach out in the group. Go into the group. Yeah. Just say, hey, I'd like to send uh, some happy mail. Yeah, I already explained it. Okay, good. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's just something that you do out of kindness of your own heart. Because I've had, I've gotten into situations uh, where people were very upset, uh, just about nearly ready to just cuss me out. And I'm like, I don't want that to, I don't want our group to be that, you know? Well, well Catherine, you want to really get some tips going when you go into the Minus Crafting group? Because I know you're in there, part of the group now. Uh, just look up Margie Ryan. Margie's like an expert. Just ask her what she does. How does she identify people and stuff like that? And I'm sure Margie would be happy to share it with you. I mean, then you just post it on the group wall that you'd love to send happy mail to someone. I think that's the easiest way. Exactly. Karen Reed, Karen Reed says happy mail can be an envelope of scrap paper. You have yep, it sure can. Things you have stamped, uh, you just do and go out and buy them. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I've gotten stuff from people that was illiterate, just like Karen Reed says, in an envelope. Just a just a handful of things, not as much as stuff like this, and and I said to myself, the I'm joy. gonna make something out of this. It is so interesting because ninety nine percent of the time, I probably would never have selected any of the things that they got, but now it's like I got it. They shared a part of themselves with me that I have an opportunity to craft with. You you understand what I'm saying, Trace? It's really an incredible experience. I have no idea what you're saying because yes, you I do. don't see you crafting a whole lot. So um. what did you say? <laughs> uh, I have no clue what he's saying. Hold up, my husband. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Sorry, dear. You're fired. Okay. All right. No dinner for you. Oh, uh, you're hired again. You're hired. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm gonna go on my on vacation now. See ya. <laughs> uh, Leslie O'Brien says, since I'm not on Facebook, can I email you, Tracy, no. and maybe uh, you can give me an address? I'm blessed no. and have so much to give and need nothing uh, every time. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I don't want to really keep up with addresses and stuff. That can get out of hand because we have over a hundred thousand subscribers on here. So if everyone's trying to send uh, me something, it would be really, uh, really tough. I could possibly, um, well, Leslie. Yeah, I could probably do that. Maybe uh, Leslie email me at add me to my description. Yeah, we'll work something out. But yeah, I don't want that to get too out of hand because that can really like. When you have hundreds of people, 
you and I can't. You know, and I don't give out people's addresses like like that. You know, like I. Yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah. Uh, I'm putting it in just in case. Something else is out there, Trace. You see it? No, I'm doing my card, babe. I'll go back to the end. To the door. It'll be fine. Uh, when on your way, so we don't get addresses to send happy mail, do we just ask? Yes, everyone sends addresses privately. They You can private message someone. Oh, right. In, that in the group, in the mindless crafting group, you could private message someone. Yep. Okay, Leslie. But you I never want to share your address on the group wall because there's 6,000 people in there. And sometimes you could have people in your group who are just lurking and you do not want to, um, you don't want to do that. Uh, Leslie, I just put the thing in there. Leslie O'Brien, email me at admin at mindless crafting. I don't know what I put. I put meal me. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you thinking of food? Meal me. <laughs> Hi, Crops for Fun. I like that name. She says, hello, I just found you live. Can she you tell me about your fun. channel? When do you go live? Well, as a general rule, we go live every Thursday at 12 o'clock noon. But today we came on because it's, it's World Card Making Day. And we just yes, had it to is. Do we just had to come on. We came on yesterday because since we're doing that, uh, where's that thing at? The Minus Crafts with Me Fall Edition meetup on Saturday, October 23rd. We have kits that kind of go in conjunction with that. We came on yesterday to let everyone know that they, they finally hit the store. Yeah, so, so every so often we'll go on to, um, we'll do a live that's not the scheduled Thursday live, but we our normal schedule is 12 noon. Exactly. And and technically, Crops for Fun, technically, not, we're called Mindless Crafting, but we're branded straight across the, the, the board. We have a YouTube channel with about 100, almost 170,000 subscribers with a bunch of, we're all over social media. But we also started a store in conjunction with that online sure called MindlessCrafting.com. And uh, the whole uh, concept behind it is just to craft without any... Uh, any constraints? Yeah, we just like to have fun. We're, we're a crafty. Here's a, here we are in a nutshell. No we're, a, we're a crafty bunch of people that likes like that like to have fun and, and laugh one and encourage and, and uplift each other. That's what we do, right? And, and even in the modest crafting group that we have, it's positive. The moment we see the slightest sign of negativity, that person is pretty much is gone. And they'll pretty much do it. They're out of there. Yeah, because we're very. Protective. I think that's one of the hard. Well, that's not really that hard. <laughs> one of the hardest things for me, I was gonna say, is is um, helping someone lead the group. <laughs> Look, you say helping <laughs> when they when they break rules, but um, but other than that, we have a good time, don't we, babe? You're Brenda Bob talking. About, I'll give out people's addresses. Everybody, what's your address? Don't answer that. <laughs> Uh, Brenda Bodwin. Yeah, we don't do we don't do addresses. <laughs> right, Karen Reed. We don't do negative. Yep. Cross the fun says I love positivity. I do too. Me too. I'm like, look, there's so much life is too short. <clears throat> I woke up this morning. Ooh, that's there you go. That, that's it. In a nutshell. I woke up this morning. So let allow me. Allow me. God has given me another day to inspire someone, to encourage someone, to be a blessing to someone. Can I hear an amen? Okay. Amen. Hey, that's like, you know, like the most that movie, Tracy, Diary of a Mad Black Woman, right? And one of the greatest comments I ever heard, the guy was proposing to the woman, and he, one of the lines he told her, he said, all you have to do is just wake up in the morning and I'll do the rest. Mm. Woo! When he said that, I was at tears in my eyes. I was like, I know what you're talking about, man. He's actually talking Ooh, about Shamar, exactly Shamar, Shamar about. Moore, okay? <laughs> I felt that one when he said that. That's what a man know he loves a woman. He said, you just wake up in the morning 
I'll do this. So, um, what are you cooking for dinner? <laughs> what are you cooking for dinner, darling? <laughs> uh, crickets. Okay. I said wake up in the morning. I ain't said nothing about no cooking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll cook something. Y'all come get him. Okay? The stuff I cook, you don't like. You, do, I do, baby. You're cooking today. I am, but I right. want, what I wanted to cook because okay. <laughs> look, <laughs> ah! I, I gotta watch my um. Yeah, I'll watch it for I, you. I gotta watch. I gotta watch, uh, sugar intake, salt intake. Uh, what's that stuff you got the time? It was like a hot. Uh, what was it like, barbecue ketchup sauce or something? Oh right? no, it, was no, it? <laughs> it was like, okay, it was ketchup. I don't know what it was. <sighs> it was like a Jamaican spicy something ketchup. That thing was. It was like a ketchup mustard, and I'm like, so you could so smell the hotness. But but ketchup and mustard together, or it was like a hot sauce. Something, something mixed with something so different. So I was like, "You went and bought ketchup mustard, like it's all together in one bottle." Yeah, now I can save money. And so, so I said, "So why didn't you buy ketchup and then buy a bottle of mustard and some hot sauce?" <laughs> I was like, uh, "What?" Damn, see. <laughs> ah, but yeah, he does make. Uh, what's that one other thing you used to make for the kids? We love that. What? what is the name of that thing that you used to make? Oh, that chicken casserole surprise. The, the thing. casserole with the with the Ritz crackers and something else on that it. That thing is good. That's but we, but but we have to watch what we eat because um, you know. And I have to watch what Bill eats. As much as I I don't like doing that, but you know I just want to keep my husband healthy and being and and oh. here. To be able to bless so many of us, okay. I want to see that smiling face in the morning. Yes, the Valza, she says, Do you like Mexican food? Oh, I love it. Yes. Yeah, I like almost everything. Yep. I, it's, I'm hard pressed to find any kind of food I don't like. Christine <laughs> says, I'm always suspicious of any meal that has the word surprise in it. <laughs> Christine, when I was in the military, we went to. Uh, but Catania, it was this island kind of off the coast of Italy or something, right? And we went to this one restaurant, and we couldn't quite read the menu, right? You know how you see words that has like about four consonants before a vowel shows up? So we're trying to pronounce stuff. This is... <laughs> and we're like, no, I don't like where that sound. I don't want that one. And finally, I, 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 they didn't have pictures, so I said, well, this is like something I can say. It, was, it sounded smooth, like... Mm. Like Katali. I said, yeah, give me the Katali. And when it came. Was that what it was? That's what I'm going to tell you what it was. It was, it was like a ball of rice. Imagine the rice was like a ball, right? And then on top of the rice was something that looked like it had fingers gripping the rice that went up head and tall like Gumby <laughs> with, with Stop. eyes Stop. on it. Stop, and it's babe. furry looking. I said, oh, oh then, then no, you should, no, Then you no. should like that. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not eating this. But you eat some bologna and salami, huh? I will eat bologna happily before I yes, eat something that got eyes as got husband. fur on it gripping some rice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, what in the world is this? I thought it blinked at me too. I said, it blink? Oh, I said, it was funny. winking. I said, no, I can't. Stop, okay. Uh, Ariel, you here? <laughs> Ariel over there cracking up. <laughs> Ariel, come get this man, okay? What is this Mr. coming into the house now? Mr. Mr. Ketchup. Mr. Mr. Ketchup thing. hot sauce. Oh, that's a delivery, babe. The okay. UPS. That's for the store. All right, let me go down here. Yeah, you need to get that. There's, there should be a... Um, yeah, there's some boxes coming. Saturday delivery. Oh, yeah, he's lining up the boxes, y'all. Huh? Is that a lot? Um, we got several things coming. Look, I can see it. It's... I can see from the window, y'all. <laughs> I can see from the window. It's an Echo Park. Some of the boxes are Echo Park. Yeah, some of the boxes are Echo Park boxes. So that's good. And I'm I happen to be using Echo Park paper. Look at that.
Yeah. But Bill, he can cook. He just rushes the process sometimes. He rushes the process. He he wants to just like speed it up real quick. And I'm like, just take your time and let the rice cook, you know. <laughs> let the rice cook. But for the most part, I, I do the cooking. Arielle, she does a good um she does some good cooking too. When when she decides uh to cook. She does some good cooking also. It came out pretty good. Look at that, y'all. Using up all the paper. Let's see what we got with that. No, that's the same size. So we're going to go ahead and just glue these down on here. Let me see what y'all are saying. <laughs> he bet. He bet. You said you don't eat crawfish. Can you feel like they're looking at you? <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. Thanks, Lynn. We got to do some. Got to do some cards for World Card Making Day, right? So glad for y'all that are, are with us right now. We have 178 on here. Tuning in. So glad that y'all decided. You could have been doing anything with your Saturday, but you decided that you would, um, you'll celebrate with us, right? Crops for Fun says my son is studying Japanese. He cooks for us. Send him over. Oh, wow. Nice. That's fantastic. Okay, I saw it. Echo Park box, babe. Down yep. there, I can see from the window. <laughs> That's Lynn Hale. Lynn says fried bologna. Exactly. Oh my goodness! Stop, please. Ron Marquis. Yes, a fried bologna sandwich, not a sandwich, a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Look, y'all didn't see this man in the hospital hooked oh, up the yeah. machines. Okay. Jackie Van <laughs> Tilburg. We're on Eastern Standard Time. Exact. Katie Mae says, my aunt is Korean. I love me some Korean food. Mm. Me too. Except for the hot stuff. Even the hot stuff. Okay. Oh, this is going to be cute. I like that. I like the way that looks. You ever have something that just jumps out at your eye? Look at that. That's going to be cute. I like Ooh, the way that looks. Ooh, we're talking some good stuff. Look, fried bologna sandwich. Mm-mm. You know, and I don't know. How, bologna and eggs. That's Ooh. why I don't like I don't like Bill to go to the store by himself mm. or even when he moves away from me with the cart. <laughs> with my own cart. <laughs> There's a problem, okay? He takes the cart and goes somewhere else. And then hide underneath stuff. Right, and then he hides the stuff. So I wouldn't have known that that bologna was in the fridge. Um he think I don't know. Oh, okay, let's go put this on here. Yeah, when that, that bologna somehow snuck into the fridge. Hmm. Don't know how it happened. Ooh, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Scrambled brains. Cindy Piper said, Dad would eat scrambled brains and eggs. Who did? Cindy Piper's dad. Oh, wow. We used to um growing up we used to eat we used to people. eat tongue growing up, babe. I saw some people eat and I was brains. okay with it until I got older and I was like, hmm, this this could be tasting me bad. Hold on. Somebody <laughs> see me doing something. What, what can they see? Lisa says, Bill, you have to try bacon and jelly on toast. Oh, I've done that. He's done that. He likes the salty sweet. I have done it. Oh, wait a minute, DMC. Hold up. Y'all gonna make me hungry. Cubed up spam. Now you're talking. Don't tell this man. Don't get this man started. And scrambled in there. Hold up. I'm gonna tell you what I do with spam. Or well, I like to do. Trace won't let me bring spam in the house. I have to sneak it. have to wait till she never leaves. So, but if she ever leave, I'll her to run to sneak to the store and get it. Mm. And eat it while she's gone. But mm. those days are far. So guess what I would do? <laughs> Get the spam, ah. cut it up into cubes, smaller cubes. 
So let me go. Got so you so what you're up. saying is you want me to leave so you can have your <laughs> spam. Fry that up. <laughs> then I have to make some rice. And then I have to make um uh, some vegetables. Like I like the ones with the peas, the carrots, and the uh You know what? And the, I, I, I gotta corn. say something because he's saying that I kind of season it up while Tracy I'm won't let me. Sometimes I even I can take an egg and put it fried and kind of uh, mm. scramble that up and then put it in there. Mix that up. Then it goes on the rice. Then I have to get craft cheese. And then it kind of mixes it. Then it goes up on top of the mm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. Then I mix, I take the rice and put it on the plate and put mm -hmm. the stuff on top. Covering up the whole yard. You talking about something that's good after when all that stuff get together like that? Mm hmm. That IV wasn't too good. Karen was it? Hankins is just spam as our emergency food. You know, spam is called look, that I, the poor the, man's hand. Look, that's, that's what it was. Th that that IV wasn't good though. Okay. He he talking about all this food and how I won't let him. But seeing well, my husband, to, you know what? Seeing my husband hooked up the menu to that, that machine. they gave me from the hospital was so pathetic. I actually got mad. Mm. It's like the only thing I could do was the only thing they allowed me to do was drink water and eat vegetables with that was only in water or something. I was like, wait a minute. Mm. No. <laughs> okay. You can have meat as long as it's it was portion control, basically. About the size of this. <laughs> And what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <sighs> Look, I came home and threw everything out in the fridge. She sure did. I she did came a major. In the door and throw us, so she didn't even wait. But I said, well, let's just eat it. That would we don't wait, Trace. No. She no, just, they 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 were not saying let's wait. She threw it all in the garbage in real time. Mm. <laughs> Hold up, Tracy. Look at this. I got to read this one. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Wait. Oh, that was funny. Hold up. Wait. Jack, 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 I'm messing up a name. Jade Lady. Uh-huh. Or Jate Lady. One of those. <laughs> one series of mirror. She says, Tracy, just trying to keep you alive, Bill. Exactly. Uh, psh, Tracy, get some more life insurance on Bill. <laughs> so you can live comfortably after he eats that spam. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all don't <laughs> understand. Y'all understand if anyone has ever been there before. Uh, once they said diabetes, I was like, "Oh, we we about to correct this situation. We about to correct this." Oh, Bill over here talking. Well, I need to. I need. I I did not like seeing him on those machines like that. I really didn't. Catherine Frederick says, I'm another don't Tracy. Your cards are coming up right along. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Getting it done, y'all. Glitter and duct tape says, eating meat almost killed me, so I stopped eating it. You know what? One time we actually, we watched this movie called What the he Heck or something. What, what the Hell thing. Yeah, what the Hell. It was called What the Hell. <laughs> and uh, it actually scared me a little bit. And we actually became... Uh, I don't want to say vegetarian because I, I didn't more care healthy, about like more uh, healthy eaters. I still wear my alligator shoes and stuff like that, but you know, the bottom line as far as food though, we were pretty vegetarian now, plant based, <laughs> and it actually felt good in this race. We felt really. It good. was incredible. I was losing weight and I felt energetic and really robust. Did. But yes, then I did. started dreaming of eating eggs and stuff. I you had sure dreams. did. We both did. Actually. I could see myself eating an Arby's beef and cheddar. That's my favorite. <laughs> I would dream this. <sighs> see, here's the thing: that Bill doesn't have like a cutoff switch, so um, yeah, that that's the thing. I'm cutoff switch. Eat it until you can't take another until bite. You can't move anymore. Until you have to crawl to the bed. And every day is not Thanksgiving. But other than that, though, he does. He's doing good. He, he's gonna. That. Um, he, he's, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard one there, Ron. Ron McKee says, I brought no more sugar in the house after Diamond was diagnosed. Mm. It is so hard. Lynn says, I'm diabetic and also suffer from diverticulous. It is oh, hard to find anything. Oh, to diverticulitis. Eat. Yeah, I had a co-worker that had that too. One of my friends, best friends had that. 
He was. This guy was so healthy. He did martial arts for years. It just looked like the just the picture of athletic sportsmanship or something, right? Well, he's alive, but what happened? Next thing I know, I got a call, and it's like he's so so in the hospital, and he was in there almost two weeks. He and they found out he had diverticulitis, right? Mm. And he was really sick with it. Yeah, that that is no joke, right there. Oh, Jay Lady says, I think we picked up some pounds though, being in the house. Seriously, right, I got to read this race. So the question to you, Bill, is. Do you want to leave your wife living in a life of luxury in the tropics with some young <laughs> hottie? Put down the spam. Y'all are too funny. You better call Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone, man, I come around here. I come out of. I come out from the from the from the ghost world to get Tyrone. Okay? We don't. We don't want you to have to do that, babe. Okay, that's why we're keeping you here. So I will yeah. hunt. I will hunt Tyrone. He gets mad at me sometimes. Because he feels like I'm watching what he eats, but I try to go on the. I try to do the same thing that he's doing, so he doesn't feel alone in the process. That's the thing. Oh, look how cute that came out! I wasn't thinking about it, y'all. Isn't that beautiful? I was mindless crafting. How awesome is that? I was mindless crafting. Okay, y'all. So we went and watched um, clips from Willy Wonka because we, we were talking about Pure Imagination, my favorite song. Tracy watched, and then we were watching um, Annie. We watched at least ten versions of uh, singing Annie. Yeah, we sure did. We watched a whole bunch of versions of Annie because we were talking about you know singing the sun will come out tomorrow. I still like the little girl the best. She was With so the good. Red hair. Oh my goodness, she was she really was so good. cute. She was a, she's absolutely adorable. Hopefully she's still acting and singing. <laughs> the metal scrapper chick says, uh, as everyone talks about watching what they eat, I'm watching my hand put Hershey nuggets <laughs> In into my mouth. My mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Metal. <laughs> Look at Jay. Jay, Jay <laughs> Tyrone Tyrone is not coming to your house. He's way in the tropics to spend that insurance money. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Jay Lady! <laughs> Bill, after you, there is no other, okay? You broke the mold, okay? If that makes you feel any better. Wanda, when you but you're a good wife, Tracy. What about me? <laughs> What about you? you Look, he you'll lost. You'll be good just leaving the insurance, okay? After you, you got out of the hospital, right? And we went on that diet, just kind of, we started to feel better. Increased water. Bill drinks a lot of juice. So you have to, I have to kind of say, Bill. Got to make up for the food. You know. <laughs> drink I some, can't eat food, so I drink seven gallons of orange juice and pineapple drink, juice a day, okay? Drink some water. That's what, the, that was the thing, was drink. Uh, more water increases water intake, and um, because he was having problems with his kidneys, um, y'all, I was sitting there listening to everything. I did not. It was this was two years ago. I did not leave the hospital. She sure did. I moved in and I sat in that bed, and when I mean in that uh, that little uncomfortable that, that make the most chair uncomfortable thing. chair known to me. But I was not leaving hospital. him. I wanted to hear every single thing that the doctor had to say. They had a team of doctors. When you have six people coming yeah, into the yeah, room, I had so many of them. I at the like, same time, I just grabbing people from inside the house. Hey, you want to go in this room? That, <laughs> what, is, what is all these people? That's here when for? you know something's up. I'm the urologist. I'm the the heart guy. I'm yes. the the. They had everybody. Man. Yes, and I was fussing at him a couple of weeks. Not even a couple of I weeks. Think one of them was a dentist. A what week. Dentist doing in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> I was walking down the hall. I said, hey, I know your oh, team wants to mess up too, so. <laughs> right. Wanda, just follow your wife's meal plans and you don't have to worry about Tyrone or Jamie Foxx. Well, y'all are too funny. And Jamie can sing, okay? Jamie up and tell me my wife singing. Jamie can sing. Yeah, it has been two years already. Right, Margie? Yeah. 
But when the doctor comes to you and says your husband is very sick, look at that. That's a, that's a wake up call. She ain't talking about Tyrone be sending fried bologna sandwiches over to your house to speed the process <laughs> up. She's probably driving door dash. Uh, Oh, y'all are funny. Okay. Jay. Y'all are too. Y'all are hilarious. I'm sorry. That's why I love y'all. Y'all are just hilarious. But um, I'm just blessed that my husband is still here with us. Okay. Because that was some scary stuff. Trina says she needs AA for chocolate. She's a chocoholic. Mm, chocolate's supposed to be good for you. Okay. Let's have some then. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> Bill, you act like I'm over here starving you, okay? Mm. <laughs> he gonna come out with an no, SOS. He's gonna, look, she's he's gonna trying to make force feed me avocados, okay? <laughs> avocados are my friend. I must really, if I really hate myself, me I'm and say, Ariel, you know I can't commit suicide. I know what. I'm gonna eat some avocados. You know what? If you love yourself, that's how bad you, I hate you them. You will eat avocados, okay? I can't stand them. <laughs> only thing worse than avocados are are Brussels sprouts. Nothing worse than that. That's the worst thing ever Look, made. Look, I Earth. love me some. I'll eat. I love all kinds of vegetables. I will eat some Brussels I sprouts. I eat that. I will eat okra. I love me some okra. Here's my little pokey tool pen, babe. Oh, that's the name of it. Yes, I, that's what I call it. Where is it? Do y'all see it? Where's my pokey tool? Oh, here it is. Okay. Karen Reese says dark chocolate. Her daughter calls it punishment chocolate. Mm. Thank you, Susan Leach. Susan Leach says, I am right about avocado. I love me some avocado. And um, Rama Keys, too. I do not like no avocado. I don't know what will make a person want some avocado. Mm. Tracy can eat avocados like an apple. Okay. <laughs> My mother used to say, no, no one's leaving the table till the Brussels sprouts are done. Why'd you make them? Why'd you make this? Just so you could say that. Yeah. You, and you better say it to yourself, okay? Exactly. You better, better say not that say that, that to mama. Okay? Better not say that to mama. Uh, please. You better, your face better look like you thinking. My mother reaches. You would get, my mother would get you, and she thought you were thinking it. Come here. So, you so you said the avocados don't taste good, right? It tastes like it's just nasty. So, so tasty. How, okay, yes. so here's my question: How do pills taste? They're tasteless. Mm, exactly. How all those pills taste? That that's my question. <laughs> <sighs> Damn, but she anyway, says, mom used to put cheese sauce on Brussels sprouts to get. I had to put jelly on them or something. Mm. Don't Christina have my husband yes, going like people to guy yo. You know what, Lee? Pico de Gallo is delicious. I used to be so so about spinach, but Tracy actually ate spinach so much that I actually started like. I like the spinach salads too. I do. You started doing it, but you were doing it with those salads. He okay. So when he got out the hospital, he lost at least forty pounds, y'all. Forty pounds in no time. Too. It it came off like this. We were like, okay, let's let's tone down on the sugars, right? Um. Because Bill was going to buy like a case of root beer or whatever. And I'm no, like, it was cream soda. Cream I soda. Mad. Who is going to drink two weeks before he went in the hospital? It was a special. It was about 36 of them. He was like, these were on sale. Huh? Put Tracy's those. like, no. I was like, like, we almost got into an argument in that, that store. I was pissed off. I'm not going to lie. Two weeks later, I, guess, I, where, I was, guess where he was? I sure was. Lined up like that. Like, two weeks later. In the hospital. Hey, I actually I woke up in the hospital. I was like, "What in the world is this?" Yep, we were in. We look. How did I get here? Look, we were in the um, we were at Kroger, babe. That's where we were. And he, I'm in the line, get checking out all the stuff. He's like, "I gotta get one more thing." He came in there with the a biggest. What was it? Twenty four <laughs> pack. Thirty six. Soda case of soda. I was Cream like, soda, not just soda. And so I said to him, "Where are you going with this?" And I was like, put it back. That was my thing. I was like, put it, put it back. Well, what am I gonna do? Look, I just said it so abruptly, like, put it back. Bill, we got it. Mm -mm. And two weeks later, or even a week later, he in the hospital. In the hospital. And the lady talking about, so uh, how, what do you take for your diabetes? I said, what diabetes? Yep. 
That was a wake so up. You call. don't know that you're diabetic. And I mean, I don't have diabetes, but I went on to diet with him. I must I have had like, about five or six things. You lost some weight though, Bill. I was shocked at how fast the weight came up just with not even incorporating I think the, they scared me. Not incorporating the exercise yet um into your regimen, but just with healthier options and portion control and all of that. Um and, and what you put into your body. So they gave us classes in the hospital. Y'all, I was taking notes. Okay. So you ready for, for a test. You ready for your <laughs> lesson just to teach. His symptoms, he was feeling dizzy. I remember he had felt dizzy at one point. Before that, I'm going to tell you what happened, D. Okay, before I at, before what happened happened, I was in the garage playing the piano, and all of a sudden the room seemed like it was spinning. It's like I was uh, like a hyperventilation thing, right? And then it really, and it kept spinning more and more. At first, I saw I'm just hyperventilating. Then it got deeper and deeper and deep. And then, all, and then I, all of a sudden, I got scared. You know, you got ringing in the ears and stuff like that. And I got so scared, I felt like something was just wrong, and and, and I couldn't control it. I was like, oh my god, what's happening? Then so I tried to come out of the garage, and I could barely walk out of the garage. And somehow I turned the corner, and and right next to the garage kind of is the den. And I, I was, I saw the couch, and I felt, I felt myself get ready to fall, and I could either fall right or left. Right was this, uh, like a shelf thing, and left was a sofa. So I tried to make myself go to the left, and somehow I did, and ended up on the sofa, and uh, and I tried to call Tracy, but I, I couldn't even how to get. Out. I was like, Tracy. I should have said, "What you calling me for?" Like <laughs> that. Tracy. No. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could bear it. I could see that he was. And the thing was, was that before you bought the soda? I was so nauseous. It was. It was like it was incredible. Yeah, and I was so upset with him because and then she got I so was mad. like, you have got to get to the doctor. She made me go to the hospital, and I didn't want to go. I was so mad at him, y'all, and I mean, just like just fuming. Just a, I wouldn't go to the hospital. Just to be no real, certain, right? Because he did not want to go to the doctor. So finally I went and they said something. Oh, just a mild case of bronchitis or, or something. Because you were getting other. heartburn too, remember? Like oh, really I was bad crazy heartburn. Heartburn. Yeah. So to make a long story short, the next week, uh, I guess Tracy ended up getting a call talking about uh going to the hospital. Bill is uh Your husband passed he out. He passed out, his he's turning blue and his lips, his lips. He can't turning. breathe. That was what All it kind was. of stuff. Yeah. You know. So, I don't remember. Only thing I remember is waking up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in the hospital. Yeah, but before that, before he woke up, he was still kind of dazed because I wasn't sure what happened once I got down there. Right? And then I said, uh, the doctor came in and he was like, um, he said, your husband's very sick. And that was like, I just could, I just like was like this. Like, okay, when he says very sick, and what then you mean? he just had so many things. Your entire body, he said, got kidneys, something going on with the kidneys, might have a clot in the lung. My blood pressure uh, was about almost Blood pressure was high. For the whole week. Uh, just so many different things. So this is just like, just saying to y'all, be careful. Like you'll see, if you see some signs and stuff, Bill will say, oh, I, I fuss at him. But I had pneumonia. I was at the, I was looking in. I was on the outside looking in and seeing him in that bed was like a wake the up flu. call too. Like I got to get him better. And the only way to get him better is to go on this journey with him. And and also incorporate healthy, healthy eating into my own regimen. And let's get out and and exercise. Now, of course, once the pandemic hit, and everybody locked himself up. Everybody again. locked in, not moving as much. Um, but yeah, but I'm here now. But you know what? You're right, Catherine. Uh, and uh, and uh, the name will disappear. <laughs> oh, Sarah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, it was scary. It, it, it was scary because things like that happen to another person, not me. It happened, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It, it just. It just caught me off guard like that, you know. I was like, what in the world? You know, but... Uh, but he's here, y'all. It lets you, it makes you really appreciate each day. And that's why I, when we were talking about the China earlier, I was saying, that's right. Pull out your China, your best dishes, 
take that crafting paper out that you've been sitting on, like get, oh, tell Brenda really? Bob what to get that paper out off that shelf. <laughs> Like, I am not getting my paper and start to crafting with it because you don't know what tomorrow if tomorrow is 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 promised to you. You just don't know. So go ahead. Send that and do card. What you do. Right. Send that card to that loved one. Right. That you've been. If you hesitate, don't even hesitate. Just say, "I'm gonna send it." You know. Exactly. You're right, March. God did save save you for a reason. Yep. But now, with that being said, not to speak <laughs> on calamity or nothing like that, but uh, that's that's it in a nutshell. What happened? So, and that's why I have, to, I have to stay on him sometimes because of that, y'all. So it's not me nagging him. If I'm gonna nag him to live, then let that be. But he will not go down without me help being on his side to fight, fight with him. Okay. And Bill knows that I go on the same. I like I'll on the diet with him. I'll go through the whole process. And I ended up losing like, you sure I lost did. like 25 pounds. I was like, wait a minute, look at my waist. Getting slender. You know what I'm saying? I saw Tyrone creep. I was like, hey! Huh? Bill, what are you talking about? I thought that was Tyrone <laughs> trying to sneak around the corner. <laughs> I'm trying to look around here, Tyrone. So what y'all saying? I hadn't gotten a chance to look up at the comments. Oh, kind of stuff. They're like, yeah, Bill, take care of yourself. Y'all encourage it's so much him. Stuff. Y'all encourage him. Yeah, I think I'll do it like that. This is so I'm taking some of the, the other papers now and I'm going to use these. Jay Lady said, well, food shortage is the cap everyone from chicken wings. You know what? It is harder to find them. The the one the good ones anyway. Thank you, Margie. Right. We need you here to inspire, Bill. You still got work to do, babe. I got work to do. You know what says? My husband has it too and takes metformin. I take that too. Ooh, Sarah, that's so hard. But Sarah, Sarah's good. She's like you, Tracy. She says, I try not to fry food, but I, I, I bake it. Tracy will bake some food, okay? I'm like, no, don't bake the chicken. Yeah, Tracy, I'll bake in the chicken. Mm. <laughs> you sure started loving Amina some... says time to drink my water and bend and snap <laughs> y'all funny okay bend and snap Ron Marquis says you got a whole pile she got she's got three cards really you got a whole pile of them I am she would actually be faster if I wasn't messing with her y'all. I keep messing with her if Tracy wasn't talking and stuff, she's like Grease Lightning in this room by herself. Glitter says she wants to get an air fryer. Oh, I heard what? that. What? Who said that? No one wants to know about Tyrone's going to be Tracy next. So that, you know what I'm going to tell you? I will hunt Tracy <laughs> and Tyrone from the grave. Okay? <laughs> there won't be a place on earth they can go. That is funny, babe. <laughs> Bye, Joanne. There's no place on earth we could go. Y'all might as well join me because you ain't gonna be in there. We have to go a place I'll on earth. I'll be right there with you. I'm, I'm be right. You gonna be right <laughs> here on earth with me, okay? We are gonna do everything to make sure that you right here on earth. On earth. <laughs> so now, like with these little ones, right? If you ever said, "Hey, what do I do with these little papers?" Just make some little embellishments, you know. Just start gluing some stuff together and then you can you can save them for like another time and you can make yourself some embellishments. Well someone said who is Tyrone? Well well here's Tyrone. You ever heard the song by uh, Erica Bad Erica Erica? Erica Badu. Erica Badu. She it's called You Better Call Tyrone. He's a fictional character. Call him. 
<laughs> hey. <laughs> and Eddie Gallus or something be talking about the recall no Tyrone now. Y'all are funny. So yeah, tell my yeah. Tyrone's gonna sage the house to get rid of me. <laughs> sage like, the I'm house. a super ghost. Y'all are that too get funny. rid of me, okay? Y'all too funny. Right, so now you could take some of your papers, right? I don't know what y'all do with your scraps, but you can take some of these and you can start gluing them together. And then at a later date, I could stamp on these and add them to my cards. Yeah, I could stamp a message. So I might not know exactly what I want to do with these yet, but I could, I could always just make some kind of embellishment out of it. I don't know how many of y'all do this, but this is what I'm doing. So thank y'all for um, this is an interesting conversation. <laughs> exactly. Thank y'all for joining me as we craft away this afternoon. Ooh, we got a little thing here, huh? Let's see what we can do with this. That looks like another card in itself, right, y'all? Yeah. I think we can make another card out of this. So now you can take your scraps, and from your scraps, you can make a whole nother card. So we're going to take this and see what happens. I'm using scraps for decorating the inside of the card. Yes, exactly. So we can go back and get our scraps and go inside the card and make something, right? We could decorate the inside. Jay Lane talking about Tracy and Stella going to run off together. They, they groove back on. Y'all funny, okay. Ain't no grooves getting back on, I, look, okay? I, this man right here. Ain't no, you got to get, get this, off to get on. This okay? man broke the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this man broke, completely broke the mold, okay? So, um, Sonia Creel said, I also had to change my diet due to lactose intolerance, and, and I didn't know what a pain it was. To you know what, Sonia? Tracy put out something today we were in the store, and I didn't think about it, but my knees were killing me, and one of them in particular, it was so bad, I, I, I thought I was going to go to the emergency room. I, I had to use canes, all kind of stuff. And Tracy, being who she is as a librarian, she's researched the crap out of some stuff. And and zeroed in on different foods, and I realized I was eating an awful lot of bananas. You eating a lot of stuff tomatoes. that you shouldn't have been eating, and it was so causing causing inflammation um, yeah, in his knees. I mean, he was yeah. to the point where he was gonna have to walk on the cane, and we changed the diet up. And I can walk just as good. And as um, because yeah, I didn't. I wanted my husband to be able to walk on the beach with me. So that so you know this, what I'm saying? There are foods that would interfere. Yeah, it's amazing how food has an effect on you. Sonia says she found out something for pain. She did what? She found she found out something that would help her. It's amazing how the foods that we eat uh, cause so many of our issues and stuff. You know. Linda says I better listen to Doctor Tracy. Listen to me. Carl Schaffer says she gave up on milk and all her belly pain and bloating is gone. Mm. I'm telling you that that um just listening to your body and, and, and just doing some research. Barbara Cook says baked chicken is good, especially with some onions and green peppers. Ooh, that sounds good. Pamela yeah. Allen says, How much are those boxes? Well they're not in the store yet, but when they hit the store on Thursday, they'll be twenty nine ninety. Twenty nine ninety nine, but we're gonna have a ten percent discount because we're also releasing a new stamp set. Into yeah. the store too. An incredible stamp set. Actually. Yeah, it's gonna. Y'all are gonna love this stamp set. Oh this my stamp goodness. set is, is, is great. Y'all are gonna love it. So I'm gonna take some of these scraps here, y'all, and just start gluing them on to make another card. Thank you, Susan Leach. What's Susan talking about? It's wonderful to hear that you guys are both getting better. Bill, take care of yourself. We will miss you. Yes, I mean, yeah. 
Jay Lady, that's what I found. The Tracy was telling me. She says tomatoes are aggra aggravate uh, arthritis. Mm -hmm. And when he started, like, when we started, like, um, eating some of the things that they said or taking out those things that weren't um, going to help him or were adding to his uh, knee pain, because what was it, like spurs or something like he that? He said some, about spurs, burns, some kind of arthritis. Some kind of arthritis in the knees. I mean, when I say he was limping... I couldn't even lay my legs next to I was to like, anything, let me pillows. go and do my research, okay? I couldn't even stand on the leg. Yeah, it was pretty let bad. Let walk. It was pretty left bad. Leg. But it turned around very quickly. Now he just... Yeah. Can't keep the man still now. I don't know, Lynn. Lynn says does it also include tomato sauce? I really don't know. Don't know. I really hadn't had any. I just know that the tomatoes were like um that was one of the things that were on there. J Lady says stay away from frozen processed foods because so many chemicals and preservatives also affect you. It, it I've heard about that too. Yeah. Alzheimer's. Then the birth of us was man, I love tomatoes. Yeah, I mean, Bill's walking around like a young guy now. Some people said... Oh, and we like, even went to my mother's house to go get the cane because we were like, oh boy. I got two canes. <laughs> Actually, I got about three or four of them. You sound them. like you bragging about it, okay. No, not really. I got two canes. Uh, where's that at? Uh, where's it at? Uh, man, it would disappear. Anyway, someone, I think it was Wanda, who said... Uh, she was talking about air fryers. I need to try one of those because you can air fry and you'll be safe. Is that right? Oh, can you? Well, we really need to go and look up the health benefits of air. You know, I'm going to... I'll look it up. I'll probably research you don't look it. it up. <laughs> at some point. <laughs> oh, look at Susan Lee. Susan, if I did this, I wouldn't be eating nothing. Look what Susan Lee said. She says, if you can't read the ingredients on processed food, then you shouldn't eat it. That's what I heard, too. Yeah, that was a big thing. A lot of people saying, um, yeah, the way all I those chemicals it, and stuff. I definitely wouldn't be eating nothing, would I? Water. Oh, look at Jane Lady. Tracy. Huh? Thank you. Oh, so sweet. I'm going to go get Bill a salad. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Jane We're going to go did. get some she salads. Do for that to, to go that. That's the salad fun, dear. That's the spam fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, that one was waiting over there for me, too. I'm putting this upside down. What? So, Sandra, what, what, what vitamins do you take out of curiosity? Lynn says she wish they would make air fryers for larger families. Oh, are the air fryers real small? I mean, I've seen, you know what? I think Mark and Yvonne has We went to air fryer. Uh, okay. Ollie's. They had an air fryer that was so big, it was crazy. Okay, y'all, look at this coming along here. We're coming along. Jay Lady I'll says, be "Coming you, around the mountain." I just love this song right there. Uh, Jay Lady says, "Are you doing your car drive again this year?" We don't know yet. We yeah, we'll have to see. Um, I need to really go ahead and get in touch with uh, Mike on the bike. Uh, last year, I know he had a ton of cards, but I because of the pandemic, he wasn't able to get out like he would normally get out to the kids. You know, they had re, there's a lot of restrictions in place. So I need to find out if we're going to do that um, this year. Oh, thank you, Norma Watson. She said we all cheer. We cheer. Oh. I, I, I'm so glad we could do that. I'm Me so too. glad we have this time together oh. just to have a laugh. Or sing a song. Da, da. I forgot the rest of the words, Bill. I, for some reason, my mind, the next oh, word, goodness. the next thing that came to my mind was, you take care of. <laughs> Be 
<laughs> Don't ask me why. Song by a, that's the two different songs, I man. Know, but. <laughs> But it does sound a, a lot. Denise Blitzen the same. says Mike on a bike told me that he will not be collecting cars here this year. He still has all of them from last year. He plans on coming on my scraps and let everyone know. Okay, okay. That's good to know. That's good to know because um, um, we may still be able to do something, but we were thinking maybe with a veterans organization possibly. Uh, we'll for for Christmas, know. something for Christmas, uh, cards for vets, something like that. That that's been on my heart lately, doing something for the veterans. So we'll see. Yes, it was a Carol Burnett set show. Yeah, but he just made it a Christmas Carol too. <laughs> uh, Marceau says I've never heard of a car drive. Can you tell me about it? Well, it's something when we come together, we've done um, Mike on the Bike, uh, which was a car drive for kids. Um, who live in orphanages. Right, who are living like in an orphanage, children's home. So Mike does a lot of things with them throughout the year. And so at Christmas, he would do something special for the kids. And so we made cards for two years straight, right? Yeah, and he would put money And I think in the, the first one we had, we did, um, wow. our goal was like a thousand cards. We must have did like, did we do like close to 3,000? Or was know. that the Mother's and Father's Day card drive? I can't remember. Yeah, so, yeah, so we, um, it's so fun. Um, and recently, before but uh, I'm Walter, thinking we did of, the veterans. Food. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. Walter had. But we also did a Mother's Day and Father's Day card drive for um, some of the elderly homes during the pandemic this May because we know that they feel so disconnected and what a treat that was to be able to go um, to some of these uh, places to deliver the cards. And some of them went up to New York, New Jersey. Uh, and then we had some local places around here that we uh, did the cards for. So yeah, I usually anything like that, I'll post in the group. Um, we do have a connection now with a veterans organization so we'll 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 see. So just stand by right now. Stand by. We we may end up doing something for Christmas. Uh we just have to see if we can uh get that together. Fun fun. Let's see what we got here. So now I'm gonna just cut little strips of paper to decorate the insides. Okay, so don't forget, after we go off on this video, after this video ends, the live stream, uh, give it a moment, and then you can go and upload your comment. Here's the question to get into the giveaway. You have to answer the question beneath this video. And all you have to do is Tell me what cards do you like to make? What kind of cards? It could be a style of card, or it can be like you can say, I like making uh, four by four cards, mini cards, or I like making thank you cards, or, you know, like just what kind of cards do you like to make, basically? I like doing thank you cards, and I like doing cards uh, like of inspiration. Like if someone's going through something and you just want to send them a card to brighten their day, that sort of thing. Uh, and then you would just comment below and we have a giveaway of three, um, three of our Christmas embellishment gifts. Embellishment kits are going to go away to three people. Mercy. That's so, it, right? So yeah, we're going to be giving away three Mercy. embellishment kits next Thursday. We'll announce the winners on during our live. We'll be drawing the name. So that's going to be fun. Will is vitamin C, ester C, mature, mature multivitamin and minerals. Yeah. Oh, I think I, do, I think we do that. What? The vitamin we do vitamin C and uh, I take some B. We, do we take a bunch of stuff. Elderberry, yeah. 
Tracy, once, once all everything broke out, Tracy researched that we had so much stuff we take for that. You know what I'm saying? Tracy making sure we walk out of walk through this world. Yeah, Best but, but guess what does what but guess what helps the most? Prayer. Just praying that y'all just everybody stays healthy, you know? You're not kidding. Just pray. Pray and putting in the work, right? Robert Keith has a good question. She says, let me ask the opposite question. Is there a card that you don't like to make? She doesn't like to make five by sevens. I don't like making sympathy cards, but I know they're very much necessary, so I make them. I mean, yeah, sympathy cards. I just don't like making them. But it's one of those cards you have to make, you know? Uh, props for fun. Uh, is asking where where do I comment at the end of this video? Right in the comment section. In the comment section. Right. You can't make it right now. It yeah, because it won't. It'll be in the live feed, so you have to make the comment below After this video, video once the video ends. Once we end the live stream. Because next Thursday we're going to be using the video we've done this live stream. You know, we're going to use it to draw the names, to draw the names of the device called the YouTube comment picker. And it goes right to the comments of today's video. It's pretty cool, too, because you can see the as you know, like you see the comments and just show up, you know, like you see their names just pop up in the feed. And whoever went in, nice. shove them through and then it'll pick that one person. It's a random picker. And then we'll have once we find out who the winners are, we're going to have them to email us. And they got to email us their name and, you know, address and stuff like that. Because we don't know who you are. If you say, I'm, if someone says, I'm Scrappy Doo, well, we don't know who that is. We don't know your real name. <laughs> Everybody out here can say, I'm Scrappy Doo. I won. <laughs> Here's my address. <sighs> yeah. He says, Scrappy Doo. Uh-oh, Kitty Mae. Kitty Mae. Who's playing again? Kitty Mae says it's almost time for the game. Uh oh, Kitty Mae, we about to get off on you. Kitty Mae, who do you want to win? This is pretty paper. This paper is like, y'all, this paper is so pretty. Uh, let's see, hold on, I missed something. Uh, where's it at? I can do anything. I'm great. If you believe no it's never too late. late. If you want to be, then it's up to me. I'm great, I'm great, I'm great. Oh, someone asked a question. <laughs> they said, I was late, I was in the kitchen. What do we do? At the end of this video, you leave mm -hmm. the comment in the comment section of what kind of card you like to make. Right. And Simple as that. That's all. You can't make it now. And then tune in, because on next Thursday... Because we're going to, um, can someone look that up and see what next Thursday is? On that next live uh, Thursday, we're going to draw the names using the random picker so we, and we announce the winners then. Next Thursday is the 7th, October 7th. Hi, Wanda. I do like making cards with flowers and butterflies, though. That's the other thing, so... Yep, so I'm finishing up these cards. Karen Hankinson says, it is hard to do sympathy cards, da, but da, 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 it's also da, da, so da, da. satisfying to let people know you care. And that right, love right. And they're not by themselves. Yep. Yeah, for sure. And that's what, you know. Thank you, Crops for Fun. Crops for Fun. Sheila always she says, keep singing. You're putting my granddaughter to sleep. Oh, go to sleep. How old is the granddaughter? How old is your granddaughter? What's her name? <laughs> Honey's back. We're making fried fish sandwiches. Sandwiches. Yeah, I let I try to limit my bread. Take two. That's the other thing, cause, whoo, I love me some bread. I put what Tracy put me on a diet one time. I and put you on a diet. You know what she did? She said you on a diet. I said, oh, I ain't on that. What you no, I about? wanted you to have That's a exactly healthy lifestyle. You just kind of announced that you're on a diet. I said, what you? Ooh. <laughs>
And I said, I can't follow no diet. I don't know. You I saw can't. that weight come off though, huh? She'll say it's easy. We're getting rid of everything white. And I said, well, getting rid of everything white? What is she talking about? But then she got rid of everything white. Bread, Bread potatoes, flour. Yeah, anything like that. White, we had to go. Look, I studied that pamphlet that they gave us from the hospital. Oh, did she say how um thanks Margie? She said the cards are beautiful. Somebody's granddaughter. Seraphine. I lost nine pounds by just eliminating carbs. Yes. Shay talking about I love me some cheese. Get away from that cheese, Shay. Don't say cheese because the dog oh, that's is right. here. He'll lose his mind. <laughs> Our dog is here. That's he can spill yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. Let him fool you. They know some stuff. Don't say W A L K. Don't say T R E A T. On no um, means and, and, you say that first one. Right. <laughs> well, you will be performing it, okay? That is funny. Oh, Lynn says, I'm so very, very happy that I found this group. Oh, I'm so glad you found us. Seriously. I love when people say that. They're glad they found us. DFC says, Mom had a list of no-no foods that I had written on the chalkboard. I bet she said, well, wait a minute. Then what can I possibly eat? You have like 500 things on the no-no list. You can have water in a sec. <laughs> Ron he says, still doing kettlebells? I should be, but no, I, I don't do kettlebells. Um, yeah. Um, they told me to avoid with my eyes to avoid the heavy lifting for now. And without so, Tracy to do it, I feel lonely. So um, we were getting it too. Sure the was. Bill was like, I, yeah. Bill could have kept going though. I don't know why he stopped because I stopped. Because you weren't there. Because I wasn't there. Thank you, Norma. Mm. Norma says, it's the best group ever. This is the best group. Erica Kennedy says, are you st still taking cards for the vet? Um, if you posted it in, the, if you posted your name in the group, there is a, um, we're still, we're going to, I'm going to be assigning names this weekend. I have the names. It's the first names to keep the vet's information. Well, I'm only posting the first name uh, just to keep it private. Their name's private and their confidentiality, so. Keeping it simple, but yes. So we have, I think the last count is 124 vets that we're making personalized cards for. Where's the little baby has gone to sleep? Clap your, here's a baby song. Clap. You can do it gently or you can do it really loud, but I'm going to do it gently. Clap your hands like this, this, this. Clap your hands like this, this, this. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands like this, this, this. So you just gently, gentle movements. Free time voice for the toddlers. Because if you want them to sit down, and be calm, all you do is you use your voice and your movements are soft. Nod your head like this, this, this. Nod your head like this, this, this. Nod your head, nod your head. Nod your head like this, this, this. And you could just keep doing it, right? Over and over and over again. <laughs> Yeah. She was saying Valerie is watching you. Oh, that's so sweet. Valerie. 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 It's like my favorite story time song that I used to sing was the John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt song. <laughs> Y'all remember that, right? John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name was my name, too. Whenever I go out, the people always shout. There goes John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Na, 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 na. John Jacob. <laughs> I mean, the kids will get really loud. People will get mad at 
people get angry at story time. Like people who are outside because they were like, what's going on in that room? All I hear is kids laughing. What do you want to hear them doing? I hear them laughing and clapping. What's going on? I'm They're never so happy. I'm never going to this library anymore. Okay. <laughs> well, not on a Tuesday and Wednesday morning during story time. Oh, Raquel says, Tracy, it takes me back to the time of working with kids at the University of Texas Child Development Center. Awesome. Crazy Bless says, I love that song. My kids and I used to sing this. Oh, Mr. Sun, this. Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Yeah, I knew every kind of song that I could sing to the kids, especially the ones that had movement. So we did a lot of action songs. Lots of action songs. Like if you're happy and you know it. They love that one. Oh my goodness. They kids love the, if, if you're happy one. and you know it, nod your head. <laughs> we would do all kinds of variations of songs. I work, uh, I work with children for about 25 years. Awesome, Raquel. I was the uh, children's librarian, okay? Well, and I, was, I just went up to the children's room for, to take care, to uh, manage the room while the librarian wasn't there because I wasn't a librarian at the time. And 20 years later, <laughs> I ended up becoming a librarian. Not 20 years later, but... Soon after that, fell in love with uh, doing children's work and doing programming for kids and stuff like that. And that became my career for the next 20 plus years. So how many cards is this, right? This is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. And if I wanted to do more, I could get more out of this. I could get more. See? Look at that. How many is it? Cut up 13. Okay. Look at that. I could get more out of this, couldn't I? This was fun. Did you use the whole pack? Uh, yeah, just about everything. Here's the scraps right here. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably You do. could actually use, yeah, you could do more. I could put this on the back and stamp it and sign it with my name on it, right? Go ahead and do that. Sign my name on that one. Because who says you can't decorate? Say it would take her weeks to make it. Who says you can't decorate the back of your cards, right? Don't get to crafting. She decorated the back of her card. What kind of person is that? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say that, I think of Mrs. Um, Catherine, Catherine, Catherine the Bug. <laughs> How dare you decorate the back of the card? <laughs> to all the teachers out there, thank you. I believe my K through third grade teachers were lifesavers. Look, I worked with many teachers over the years, going into schools and classrooms to promote reading and uh, making reading fun and talking about how cool the library was. And I have to tell you, I met some of the most wonderful teachers. I believe my K through third grade teachers were lifesavers. My fourth to sixth grade were all men and were great role models. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, Bertha Bless Wilson says he's one and a half in his high chair. Is he? The Let, wheels on the take. bus go round and round, round and round. Don't get me singing. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. That was a, of course, that's a favorite. That's one that you have to sing to the kids. 
Crafty and happy. Ooh, she is decorating the back of the card. What on earth is she doing? I'm going to get a ticket from the crafting police. You are. <laughs> the crafting police are coming. So we went from this to this. And how, all in how many, how much time, babe? How long have we been on here? Uh, an hour and 36. Oh, what? No, one o'clock? Leon, look, yes. Oh, it's okay. It's 2.30. Wait, it's 3.36. Girl, what you talking about? Wait, one? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Two. Wait, wait. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> one. <laughs> two. Abby and I are having tortilla chips and salsa. Mmm, yummy. I was going to read something. I forgot what it was. Lynn oh, says, the Itsy Bitsy the Spider. Encouragement and inspiration. The Itsy Bitsy Spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Mm. There you go. They make you look like, like spiders, huh? <laughs> as long as it's in a song, okay? Linda Huppert said, oh no. <laughs> oh, Raquel Phil says she's used to it in Spanish. Huh? She oh, knows it in Spanish. nice. Oh, Sheila said, Valerie is just so relaxed listening to you. Oh. So sweet. Better than snakes, it for sure, okay? Hi, Valerie. Yeah, there was, like there was a farmer who had a dog, and Bingo was his name. O B I N G O B. I N G O B I N G O and Bingo was his name. Oh, Valerie needs to go to Little Storybug, which is our children's preschool channel. Little Story Bug. <laughs> yeah, all right, it's on YouTube. I put mm -hmm. that down. Yeah. Quick. I'm just reading y'all comments. Oh, thank you, Arlene. That was my kid's voice. Because when you have a room of 30, 40 kids, all below the age of five, you have to really get into a, a space. So I would use my voice as the calming thing. Hey, everyone, come on in. We're going to get started with story time. I'm going to tell you, you used to amaze me. <laughs> when the kids would be somewhat, at the beginning, when they first come in, they kind of unruly a little bit. Yeah. Trace would be going through this thing. She would go, she would get real soft and, and can progressively softer and go, let's put on listening ears. Put on listening ears. You know, and put the kids would get soft. Ears. And they'd get quiet. And mm -hmm. she would have her hold her hands up to her ear. And everybody would hold their hands up to the ears. Well, you know what? The open shutman, shut, <laughs> shutman, open shut them song. Many of you probably know this song. That was my beginning song, and I always ended the story time with an ending song. So the beginning song was always the same. And so once you consistently use the same song at the beginning of story time, the kids knew that that was the song. Like that starts story time consistently. And then the ending song was always, if you're happy and you know it. And so that would be the one. I so, just put the link for Little Storybook for those of you that might have little ones or yep, they may want to check that out. It has a lot of content on there. This paper was, I think we crushed it, huh? And I feel like I could add more stuff, but um, I'm going to leave it at that. Look at that. 
Y'all have a great weekend. Okay, so once again, just so you know, we're doing a giveaway, right? So after this video, after this video, all you have to do is go to the comments. On the same video. Once the video ends, right? You have to make sure that vi the, the live is ended. You're going to post what your favorite card is to make. What type? It could be a type of card. What do you like making? What kind of card? Right? It could be a certain size card. It could be... Um, uh, it could be a card, a type of card, birthday card. You can say, hey, like me, uh, I like funny cards. Right, Bill likes animated funny cards. I like to make, I like, y'all know I like cards with butterflies and flowers, right? So that's all you have to do. And then next week, Thursday, during our live, we're going to go ahead and pick three winners to win one of these embellishment kits, okay? For those of you that tuned in. It just we're gonna we're giving away three of these, and you're also going to get in addition to this kit, you're gonna get the new stamp set that will be released on that day as well. So just so you can see, it's a six by eight photo. photo so photo. I'm gonna have, have this packed up differently because it's not normally packed up like this. But just to show you, for those of you who didn't see, I'm just gonna quickly go through this and show you what's gonna be in this embellishment kit. Oh, I've got to put two of those that are going to be in there. You're going to get 10 of the tags for Christmas. This is a Christmas embellishment kit. And I thought it would be fun to have something that you can add to your card. All right, look how cute that is. Okay, washi tape, of course. And some of them are going to be a little bit different. There might be some with, like, snowflakes on it. I think there's one with, there's some with, um like a darker red uh, plaid on it. So yeah, it might be a little bit different and you're going to get more tags. These are really cute because they got, look at the little scalloped edge on the on the bottom of that. Look at that. I love that. All right, so you can stamp right out on that. So this is all the stuff that's going to come and you're going to get this crepe paper, Hey Santa, uh, stamp set I thought was so adorable. Look how cute that is. And you're going to get the, um, so that's going to be the kits. Aren't, the, look, these trees right here, y'all, the, these right here, <laughs> I love it. Yep. So that's what is in the kit. Just wanted to let y'all know um, for the giveaway. Good luck, y'all. Don't forget to comment now. Comment under this video. Don't go to another video and comment. Well, I comment. commented on the other one. Comment. <laughs> I come, I can't win. Because you commented on the wrong video. I put the right lottery numbers in last year's thing. <laughs> you know what? You messed up. <sighs> yeah, so this is going to be so fun. Fun, 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 y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great, great rest of the weekend. Create something beautiful. Uh, bless someone. You know, help and someone. You know, because it's all about being able to um, to be able to be here for each other, right? I had a great time today. I hope y'all love the cards, and um, y'all create something wonderful this weekend. And if not, watch a fun movie. Don't watch a sad, sad movie. Watch something fun. Look at Vicky Jensen says, I had a phone call. What are we commenting? <laughs> Vicky Jensen, look. Vicky! <laughs> Below this video. <laughs> Just tell me what card you like, Vicky, and we'll take it from there, okay? Exactly. <laughs> or you go and watch the beginning of this video. Okay, y'all. Y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye! Thank you, Lynn. Lynn says, I'm here to stay. Oh. Awesome. Thank you.